Okay, welcome to the uh, first budget meeting of the Finance Committee for this budget season. Um, call the meeting to order, and uh, a couple of you were able to get copies of the budget, uh, draft budget, uh, ahead of time, and I brought copies for them mm -hmm. to you today. And uh, I uh, emailed out uh, notes that I took meeting with Chris and I think that'll uh, help answer some of the questions. What I did was uh, the usual first draft work. Uh, I went through all the departments and uh, just noted uh, things that uh, looked um, much different from last year or where the percentage increases were a little bit higher than uh, what we might have expected and other things that I'm just uh, curious about uh, that were in the budget. And uh, so I had a um, uh, nice conversation with Chris. We had about a two-hour discussion uh, on uh, Monday, and uh, that's what reflected in the uh, notes. So uh, do we have any routine business, uh, Bob, to We've got minutes uh, from take care of? Why don't we do that first, and then we'll go in and get started and all that. Showed to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm wondering. I'm looking for the third pile, and it's not here. <laughs> okay, so the two is it? Two meetings. Yep. All right. Take a. Minutes. I look at the minutes of uh, February 9th, and uh, make a motion to move any acceptance of the clerk of written. Do I have a second? Second. Uh, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. And then February 13th was was really the uh, special town meeting. We didn't actually uh, have anything uh, extra to do there, so I take a motion to approve minutes of 13th. So moved. Second. second. Any further discussion? Not all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you very much. Okay. The um, the budget, uh, as Chris presents, a balanced budget. Um, the uh, material that we have, including some of the backup material, as a result of his discussions with all of the departments in town, both the elected officials as well as departments that report to him, uh, the select board. And uh, he did not receive a budget from the schools. Uh, so he put in uh, into this budget the uh, minimum net required plus the override amount uh, plus uh, transportation, which he increased by just a arbitrary factor to account for the transportation plan. Uh, but with that, uh, real work tonight is to go over the budgets for all of the non-school departments and then have a little bit of discussion about, uh, about schools. So. What was the guideline that he used with the departments? The guidelines, the uh, salary increases were 2% for elected officials, 2% uh, for uh, salaried officials that are not on the wage scale. Uh, for the other employees on the wage scale, uh, the step increases plus 2%. Um, there were uh, other negotiations on salaries that took place uh, last year after the budget was put in place, and uh, I'll talk about those as we go on through, and it's one of the notes that I have, the first note on the, on the page. Uh, and uh, budgets asked to be tried to keep within a 2% limit, not always possible, as you know. But, uh, and then the... Uh, uh, the school guideline uh, of the minimum plus uh, what we had for the override for or is what he put in for them, and but that we'll expect to hear from the schools later on. Maybe 
maybe in our April 2nd meeting we have with the select board and the schools. We may hear something by then. I don't know. Okay. Is, is that meeting only to discuss next year's budget? It's a regularly scheduled meeting of the select board, so I doubt it. I don't know. I haven't seen an agenda, but it's their uh, the first Monday and two uh, first Monday in um, April is a regularly scheduled meeting. So I imagine they have a lot of uh, material that they would normally talk about. No, I guess my question was: there's also the issue of how they're doing on this year's, the current year's budget after yeah. a couple of articles didn't yeah. pass with the special. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know for certain, but if it's a joint meeting, I suspect that we are entitled to uh, ask whatever questions we want uh, around about budget matters. So. Yeah, I think they, the big issue is, the, especially the one, the Vogue School thing. I mean, if they don't have a funding source for it because it got voted down, it's got to be funded somehow. Yeah, like mm. somebody's got to figure out how we're funding that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. um, yeah, well, it's a, it's a, I had uh, talked. Uh, before that meeting with Chris about uh, what the situation is. And in case of uh, something like the schools where the money has been spent, um, either the town appropriates money from some right. source or else uh, it gets spent out of taxes next year to make up for this year. Um, one of the first things that comes off that will get charged by the state to, to do that. Is there's no mechanism, as I understand, to go back to the school and say they can't spend more. I believe words, there is. There is. So they could. So the accountant some, isn't supposed to certify for payment any bill if there's no money in the budget. So the default would be if there isn't an alternate funding source, they've just got to make that match cut in yeah. what they're planning to spend between now and the end of the fiscal year. And if they don't do that, what happens? They don't do it. Yeah. And and if. Yeah. In other words, if nobody finds an alternative funding source and they don't cut spending. What happens in that case? I actually, I don't know what happens in that case. And does the accountant certify it for payment? Because if he doesn't certify it for payment, it doesn't get paid. Yeah, I assume the accountant has certified it for payment. No? Even though there wasn't any money. Even though there wasn't money to do it, yeah. So it's, it's just like we have right now, $132,000 yeah. taken out of free cash, cash for overdrawn accounts, and a year ago it was 400 odd thousand. Right. I suspect there's a technical question, though, too. Um, you know, at the, at the uh, annual meeting of the town, we only vote on a lump sum for expenses, and we vote on a lump sum for compensation. Mm -hmm. So, um, technically, nobody runs out of money until right. the last month of the year. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, it, it uh, doesn't change the theoretical questions, but it does change maybe some of the practicalities of what you uh, oh, can yeah. insist on, cannot insist on. It changes the timing, but it's merely a kick the can down. Right. The right. Yeah, because I guess that's what worries yeah. me is nobody circuits any time right now finding a funding source. Somebody's to find a funding source, and if they don't, we're going to be sitting here two weeks before the end of the fiscal year. All the money's been spent, and then we either find a funding source, but if this is the backup that we just sort of roll through. And, so, 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 and then you get into the question that the, the attorney brought up at the special town meeting. The only thing left to be paid at the end of the year is going to be wages, and there's no right. question but you've got to pay the wages, pay the so wages right. between the, the rock and the hard place. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a way to, for them to somehow make up for it next year and next year's budget? I don't believe so. I don't think so. I'm basically, it's an expenditure for this year, it's going to be dealt with this year's budget. And but yeah. let's say it ends up coming out of the town, and they said, no, that was our bad, yeah. we're going to make it up to you. In the next well, year's the, the, the question is, we have a special town meeting that basically said no. All right. So, what do you do in that circumstance? You can't just go take free cash when you have town meeting vote that said don't do it. So, it was going to be a quandary. And I, th I think, unfortunately, there's no answer for it right now. Not going to be an answer until. The but nobody's going to come up with an answer. Because the town's going to come up with an answer to this. I mean, I guess yeah. no, nobody's thinking about it, right? I mean, that's a safe bet. So. So I guess that's my question. It's like, we're just going to hit the end of the year. It'll end up getting billed the free cash anyway because it's been certified as we pay. That's what ends up happening in this case. Not um, quite. So what does it? What's the quite part? <laughs> if they're overdrawn in their accounts, which right. is what the result would be, right. then when the free cash is calculated next year sometime, Mm -hmm. right. As an example, it was done in February this year, and other years it's been earlier. At that point in time, it shows up as negative balances. Right. 
then the town ha then the town has to do something to solve that problem, which is to pay it out of some other account, which could be free cash or which could be stabilization funds for that matter. So sooner or later, the town's just going to have to make the payment. Unless payment is denied before then. Right. Mm -hmm. So the only thing that stops us is if the accountant didn't certify the expenditures. And this is that problem of mixing in the one that had to be spent on the voc school and then just hiring that teacher because you just go hire an extra teacher that you don't have to hire, you go past your budget, and then next February the town picks up the bill seems to be the outcome of this. I mean, is that actually how this plays out? Yeah, it's a it's a complete disregard for the processes of the, of the town builders right. approving expenditures. Complete disregard. But it do, it just gets paid in the end anyway. Then. Yeah. I would imagine that there's a way to go to court to force the accountant to not certify. And this is something the, other than wages. Anything. Well, did you say he couldn't? Actually, in a school in a school's case, although we vote for both compensation and expenses. Um, that's not required by law. They have the right to move money between expenses and compensation, between compensation and expenses. So um, from, from the point of view of their expenditures, they just have a pot of money. And so uh, I would think that it might be possible to deny expenditures from some other pot of money. And is the school accountant or town accountant that certifies it? Town. Town. I mean, I think the school, the school board, the school committee has to right. sign off on it too right. first, but then the accountant does. And the accountant answers to Chris? Is? <laughs> Still. Yeah. Okay. Right. All right. Maybe we can uh, bring up this discussion on April 2nd. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just, I mean, it just strikes me as one of these town ought to have a plan right? yeah. and this idea that like I don't even know how it's kind of getting, actually getting done yeah you know, it's getting a little feeling cold to, like uh, somebody ought to have a plan now the way they try to resolve or they hopefully they will resolve that may very well play into discussions on next year's budget right. that's right it used to be said years and years ago but I'm not certain this was actually true it used to be said that if a department spent money that was not allocated, that the person in charge of the department would, could be held personally responsible. <laughs> and I think if we had some situation like that, <laughs> the law that would ever <laughs> go back and put... Uh, well, that, okay. no, that, has, that has occurred. Yeah. yeah. So that's... Uh, but more along the lines of, of blatant as opposed to what we have here. It's, it's, no, I assume that's when that's occurred. No, it wasn't really blatant, it yeah. was a, the one time I was aware of was an individual had been granted additional vacation time for whatever the reason was, and it was paid mm -hmm. when, there was, when it was not part of the budget. Oh, okay. I mean, it may have been a good, it may have been a sympathy thing, something mm -hmm. of that nature, mm -hmm. I can't really remember, but, but the okay. department had ended up drawing a yeah. check. Yeah. On the other hand, it was an entirely different level of money. Yeah. All right. So we talk about April 2nd? Yeah. Or at least we asked the question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's, I think, we bring it. That's our job. Here's an issue that's coming up. We need to address this town. It's a financial issue. You've been told. So, and we'll tell you again. Do you have any, are there any? current plans to deal with it. Right? Yeah, that's right. Which is, you know, appropriate. Right. Okay. Um, why don't we go through this uh, in order? In uh, 
the um, fairly easy ones, the warrant articles for the capital amounts. Um, there's a police cruiser, which is uh, every year we get a new police cruiser and uh, replace what we have. Uh, that, uh, there's a mini pumper and a uh, rescue truck. Um, I've seen pictures of this. <laughs> pictures are available if anybody wants to see them. Mm -hmm. uh, it, the, the problem is, is that the uh, fire chief said that they can't guarantee that the larger fire trucks that we have would always be able to get up Munson Ridge. What, and where's Munson? what is Munson Ridge? Yeah, where is it? It's out off Carver Street, I think. Is so, there a past the past the, the dump, the old uh, salvage yard, and then up, up on the hip, up on a ridge up there? Or? Yeah, there's some. I, I've never been up there. Are there houses up there, or yeah. is it just? Yeah. Yeah, there's houses up there. Yeah. And, uh, what, and what does it mean he can't guarantee they get up there? Because of the grade of the. Right, but why don't they drive one over there and see if it goes up, right? I mean, well, I think it all, it, you, know, you probably could get there at some time, but not get there at others, I think is what the situation is. But like, you couldn't get there in a snowstorm? Is that the time you couldn't get up there? Is that the idea, or? I don't know if snow is the issue or whether it's just uh, other weather conditions that might do it. Uh, uh, well, mini sounds like shorter to me. It's much. It's smaller. So yeah, it works. No, it, it's a much. It's a much smaller operating vehicle. Right. And as a matter of fact, uh, what they uh, what I was told is that Somebody they're thinking through. about making this be the actual first response vehicle because it's it's uh, more depth. Are they taking one of the other trucks out of service, is, or is this Not like an addition to the number of trucks? I don't know if they're taking anything else out of service. How many trucks do they have? Yeah, it just seems weird to me that like there's. This it's Munsingrin's been around for a while, presumably, right? This yeah. isn't a new geographical area. Mm -hmm. And for however many years Do we have he's basically saying we couldn't get up there, we couldn't guarantee we get up there, but suddenly we need to drop two hundred and twenty five thousand dollars so we can get to one part of town that So we must have at least like one tanker truck and one <laughs> ladder yeah. truck. Do uh, do we have like four trucks? Do we have Walk over and <laughs> 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 Go is, there, is there even any room over, over there? Yeah, I mean, are there enough bays? I mean, the whole thing just, it struck me as a weird explanation for eating a new truck. That there's a small area of town we may not guarantee to get up to, but this didn't come up last year or the year before yeah. or any time in the last 20 years. I mean, why is it suddenly an you can't get to this area? New chief. <laughs> Is that it? I mean, there's got to be more to this than we, we can't get to this area, but we could last year, or we haven't been able to for 30 we're years using and we didn't foam care. anyways instead of water. Yeah, that's true. That, in fact, we did a major thing about getting all that foam <laughs> stuff. <laughs> so. Isn't that more efficient than water or something? Yeah. Or? Uh, it, well, it works in a lot of cases with yeah. water, well, or it works faster in mm -hmm. a lot of cases with water. So does the foam come out of the tanker truck, or does the foam... I don't know. I don't know. Uh, if we have we had to use this to fill? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know enough about fire truck technology. Can we get some more information? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, ask Chris for some more information, or we can uh, ask the fire chief yeah. to come talk to us. That would be good. Yeah. The um, next one is uh, a dump truck, $150,000. Um, can you put it the tank? A, this is going to replace a dump truck from the Put the tank in the back of the dump truck. That's <laughs> right. Could, could this get up and run around? That's the kind of creative thinking we need. <laughs> it is replacing something. Yeah, it's replacing a 2001 uh, yeah. International Harvester um, vehicle. Yeah, uh, 150. 150. Let me ask a question. Those two items are both to be borrowed. For some reason, we, the borrowing is beneficial to us. That's right. The reason I say is that maintains a stabilization fund balance on the high side. Right. So we've got the Well, and that's exactly what the capital stabilization fund is for this sort of thing, right? Yeah. You know, we've got a whole stabilization fund set up to buy the dump trucks as they go out of service. Let's say Durapatcher. 
Yeah, that's the other one that was just. I bet that's the, for the road patcher. It'd be nice to yeah, the, the right. dura patches for uh, highway road patching. Apparently, we have nothing now for this. They do cold patches, and if they have to do a hot patch, it's a long, complicated process. And, and which which model are they buying? Which model are they buying? I have no idea. I mean, I don't. I don't know. You better find out. So, and and are we responsible for highway maintenance? Uh, I thought we only did off roads. I didn't think we did the highway. No, we don't. Do, no, two hundred two is the responsibility of the state. So patching the problem of the state, right? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, the only uh, highway yeah, in town, right? Uh, yeah, highway could be. In, uh, that's my <laughs> quick note. Oh, that's your note. So yeah, it's not just for highway no, no, patching. No, no, it's no, no, no. no. It's, for oh. road, it's for the road, road patching. patching. Yeah. The reason I'm asking the question, I, I not having the slightest idea what it was. I googled it, and there's about four different models, and they run from. A trailer up to a self-contained vehicle, and you mentioned in your your note that one person could do it, and I almost think that the one person is the fancier models, and not the it takes more than one on, with the trailer, I believe. Uh, this one, I think, if I recall, I think this one. Uh, you drive it and you can tow materials behind it. One, oh, all right, that could be. I mean, but the cheapest one is one that is totally as a tow. Um, In other words, the, yeah. the hose for the, right. um, the stuff. So we're not talking about crack filling, we're talking about patches of asphalt. Not cracks, no, we're talking about holes. I mean, there is some equipment that does that too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now these are these are for potholes. Yeah, I guess I mean at one hundred and seventy five thousand dollars. Is that right? Or is this the eighty thousand dollars? Eight, 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 Sorry. So that may be the cheaper it, version. It may not, right? Well, it but, seems it seems like a lot for a trailer, but it doesn't yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like a lot for a, yeah, a self contained vehicle right. either. I mean, it wouldn't. I mean, aside from a police cruiser, just you know, a little more detail and right. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt to find out. Like, yep. what is this thing? The cheap model is a P2. Let me find out. Okay. Um, OPEP is OPEP. What is OPEP? Uh, the, uh, in, the other uh, poison employment yeah. benefits. Oh, yeah, 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 benefits. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Stuff we owe yes. millions of dollars on. Same amount as, same amount as last year. Right. Yeah, it's the same amount. Boy, if the state air starts getting tough, you know, we're <laughs> we as long as well as everybody else in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts are going to be in trouble. Okay. Um, Under the departments. Moderators been the same for years, basically. I didn't have any questions myself on that. Moderators budget. Um, we do have the uh, Board of Selectmen budget for 122, and I've got, uh, I've got a bunch of notes on there. Um, there were three or four places. Um, first thing is, as I mentioned before, let me talk about these notes. There are general notes on the rates and salaries. There were some. Uh, there were a number of negotiations around uh, compensation um, that were going on after budget time last year, but they take effect actually in the fiscal year that we're currently in. Um, so the effects, there are two effects of that. One is that at a special town meeting towards the end of the year, there may have to be for a number of departments either another allocation made uh, for the budgets, 
for a compensation or transfers from other things into a budget line on their account so that we will fact because we will we will in fact be uh, under appropriated for some budgets for uh, this fiscal year the current the year we're in the year we're in okay yeah, yeah. was it mentioned what what those uh, departments are in uh, well uh, we can I didn't ask specifically but as we go through you can see in the figures where uh, some of the uh, the compensation amounts are higher than you would think uh, based upon the two percent salary increase for, for example or for uh, step plus uh, two on the uh, other compensation and uh, so uh, uh, there will be in there and it includes their negotiations with the police and the fire and schools and sort of stuff. And there are some negotiations going on now, uh, which may or may not be finished by the time the budget uh, takes place. So those are sort of the normal things that happen during these negotiation processes, but it's not, it's not something that gets, uh, gets way out of whack. Um, on the Board of Selectmen's budget, if you look at the uh, if you look at the uh, wages, uh, one of the things happening here is that uh, Kathy is uh, was turned into a contract employee rather than a, a wage scale employee. Um, the select board decided they wanted to do that. And one of the things is that uh, so she's it like up. she's an, is she an employee or is she ten ninety nine? Is that what contractor means? No, I mean she has a contract for her. Oh, con okay. Yeah. Contract. It, it's, it's not an independent contractor. Okay. It's a contract with the town. Right. So the contracted uh, services item is not her. In the selectman's budget, there's a con there's a twelve thousand dollar item. Right. Yeah, that seems more like for contracted services. That's more like computer thing or something. Yeah, except it wouldn't be computer in that budget. Right, but I mean that's. The impression I get out of the word contracted services. That, that's the same as this year. I don't know what. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Do you remember? No. no, no, no. <laughs> I don't remember so, what that is. So, in, in the context we're talking about, she has a contract, yeah. which just means she's, instead of. She's no longer under the personnel She's no under by the personnel law. board by law in the way it's that's, that's the reason to or do at least that. Yeah. as far as pay. Yeah. Yeah. Is that's she a big is. pay increase if she's doing the same job and they just. Well, um, there are a lot of other things going on there, and I'll mention some of them as I can get through. But uh, one of the uh, one of the reasons for the contract employee is that uh, it matches up more with what uh, the uh, chief administrative assistant in uh, the school department does. Uh, mm -hmm. Kathy, there is a contract employee with schools, and so this is a comparable position on the select board side. So they wanted to make Kathy. Are there two Cathy's or one Cathy? There's a Cathy at the town, Cathy right. Leonard, and a Cathy at school. Cathy, Cathy at, the, at the school is with a K. So yeah, Cathy at the C. school is with the K. Yeah. <laughs> so on the town the clerk, that's the Cathy with the K? No, that's the Cathy with a C. No, that, that <laughs> that's is a, a different Cathy. Cathy. Okay, that's a different Cathy. Oh, well, there's Cathy. three Cathy's. That's a third Cathy. 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 Right. Right. Can we right. make a rule we can't earn your Cathy's in town? <laughs> So, so in this case, two wrongs make a right. Is that correct? <laughs> two contract employees make it right to be to have somebody that's they're working side by side with personnel bylaw people to be covered separately. That's a different set of rules for one employee. Maybe a way to show favoritism. Yeah, I guess I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. I mean, because one way to read this is the select board wanted to give this person a very big pay raise. So they yeah. switch it, and then she gets a big pay raise. Another is there's something else going on here that I don't yet know why. And if it's something they've done and they've done, then there's one of these we can't do anything about it, right? If if this has all already been negotiated or whatever, it's well, um, we can find out some more information. But there are a couple things going on here. Kathy has been on the wage scale, right? And uh, I don't know specifics about what her compensation are. Well, we can ask that. But the um, uh, it could be that it could be that um, this reflects the two-year effect of basically uh, step plus two 
over two consecutive years. And I don't have the budget from last year to see what that was. Uh, well, we do. And yes. I don't know. I don't know who all is in. I don't know who all is in these yeah. sort of things. Um, from seventeen. Oh, this is just has to be her salary. I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. If you look, if you look between budget of 2017 and budget of 2018, that is um, a small amount of money. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, and what this would basically say is that that was too small because it's really because it's going to be part of these negotiations that the the increase should have been much more for 2018. 2018 should be understated. And that's what's going to have to get made up either yeah. through a transfer of, of funds from someplace else in their budget or from uh, a new allocation. So what we're, I think what we're looking at is what the effect really is of two years. Two of years of stuff, I got yeah. um, Let me say, though, that Kathy's been a long-time employee, so she would not have been entitled to a step increase any longer. She may be near the top. I don't know. I no, she would have been scale. because she was, she was employed when I was still here, so which has been around a long time. Which row is she on? Consequently, right. if she's getting a raise, it's well, just a she fourth room. was made a contract employee. She's, so she was. Well, it could be that could so be also. She, yeah, I mean, she's under so wages. It could, it could be two years, but it's, yeah, it's the wages. You know, the, uh, done in a way to alleviate the fact that she's locked in at the top. So, the so, the I, thought we, I thought we said she was contracted, so that doesn't go in his own bucket. That, well, it's own, but it's under wages. It's just under wages. Yeah. Also, there are some contract employees who are, in fact, on the wage scale. But, you know, this is this is not a cut and dried operation. Gotcha. All right. It used to be at one time, <laughs> <laughs> but the, the pressures took over. Yeah. All right. Well, it started with the police chief way back with Lou Barry. The police chief was on the personnel scale. He had, I don't know, top top in the top grade in the in the town, but he but he had a contract and he was paid in excess of whatever the maximum was, and then they slowly have moved mm -hmm. other people in. Dave DeRosha got moved in. I don't know, five, six, seven years ago. So the department heads, basically, or I think so. Well, but sure. I don't I don't know. What, Everybody that has one. Well, I, I mean, I suspect like a lot of things, things that worked years and years and years ago right. are not really appropriate for mm -hmm. today's mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. business environment. And uh, so the and it's it's hard for a town to be able to do this because mm -hmm. you've got all kinds of people who have an interest. Yeah, you're also competing against the private sector. <laughs> yeah, and you compete against the private sector, which is always a tough thing. And I guess that's why I'd feel better about this, because this sort of thing, it's like one person, they're making all these changes. I'd feel a lot better knowing there was some rationale for the changes independent of this person. You know, so mm -hmm. like I like the idea that like you know I like the story at least. Well, we didn't give her the pay raise last year because we were working all this out, and so what we're really seeing is the effect of combined yeah. salaries plus yeah. net increases. It's a lot different than we just decided we wanted to give her a big pay raise above the 2% everybody else in town is getting. And so we're doing all this stuff to give her more money. Yeah. And yeah. there's a story here. I just, I don't know what it is. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know which of those is the case. Right. Either, so, uh, but, mean, yeah. but how I would feel about this pay increase depends a lot on what that, like, why are we seeing this? Is, you know. why, why are you asking questions on that budget? Inquire as to why the actual last year was so much less than budgeted, like thirty grand. Why? What the? On the wages, wages in the selectman's spent? office, they only spent one hundred and forty-three thousand last fiscal year, and the budget was one hundred and seventy-seven. Interesting. Yeah, if you look at the budget 2016, it went way up in the budget 2017, but the spending in 2017 looks like State, the budget stayed from about 16. the same. Yeah. So yeah. that is an interesting. Why is the suddenly the budget number so much higher than the amount they're spending? That's the other side of the coin. I yeah, was talking yeah, yeah, about. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> no, it is kind of interesting. The last couple of years, I don't really remember. There was something going on about. There was something about they were going to move. Um, 
they were going to move some of the other budgets around. Now that, that would have made perfect sense back then that they were moving somebody from some other budget to the select board budget. Yeah. I remember I have vague memories of that. But then if they didn't, what move about that the guy person, that split? Why in the world are we still having the higher budget with numbers if they didn't actually make that move? Wasn't there some? We were sharing with yeah. the with the school. That's, right. that's the in the public. Place. That's in the public buildings. Okay. No, but there was some discussion. Somebody was getting moved to the select board budget from some other thing. I mean, that's what that year was. Was there was that big jump? But then they clearly didn't make the move in that, that year. That year. Well, they may have made it. Sense. They may have made it sense. We don't know. We don't have any actual numbers for twenty eighteen yet. But if we're still sitting at one forty three again, spending this year total, we we, we've got a budget that's it. like no. thirty thousand above what they're actually spending every year, and that's just weird. Why don't you ask about the? Grand contracted services that we can't yeah. recall. Mm -hmm. I see your rents going up. Yeah. Office rental. What do we rent that? I thought it went up before. The annex. The annex. Oh, that's the, that's the, the old. actual rent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's where, you know, John's notes have on the building. Like, why can't they just move over to the old library now? Why is it they're planning to do it by the end of fiscal year 2019? That's like a long move. I, I Maybe expect, they're obligated on the I suspect we have a red contract, um, but uh, it would take a lot of work to turn the library into offices, right. from, among other things. I mean, they couldn't move in. There's a, 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 the Maybe spaces are separate over there at the annex. Maybe they're stalling to see if something's going to happen with West Street. Right. Yeah, I mean, part of the part of the question from a long time ago was that um, I think everyone had thought that we would have had a study of the West Street School by now, right. uh, for what possibilities existed. But we know that got kept getting put off. Um, so uh, this is the first I've really heard of specific specific ideas related to the library to to become those offices, as opposed to uh, let's wait and see whether or not. There's any chance of using West Street School for anything? Uh, so, um, and of course, I didn't get into that kind of conversation. Right. With anybody. But going from fifteen hundred dollars a month to eighteen hundred dollars a month as a one-year rent increase is a little high. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. that's yeah. and that that yeah. strikes me as a landlord that gets they haven't got another option around. So why not jack the rent up twenty? Apparently, they're complaining too. Well, you use too much oil. So, you know, it, was, it was silly little things that uh, didn't think so. Maybe, uh, maybe they, or maybe they have another use for it. I don't know what mm -hmm. the deal is. All I know is that it seems more expensive than we want to pay for the uh, annex in the town hall. Um, I expect though well, we were in a contract. So. Four hundred dollar chairs for three of them. That, <laughs> that's, that's not that too. No, 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 it's more than three chairs. Okay. I hope it's not just the select. It must be chairs. five. It must be it's five. Five chairs. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, Chris has one. Chris has one, Chris and then the visitor. visitor. There's the one for the visitor. visitor. Oh, yeah. So yeah. Five chairs. Okay. So it's five chairs at twelve hundred dollars. Did we buy those chairs, chairs when you were? Well. When I when I was there, we bought chairs. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Those chairs may be old, but but these chairs that we're sitting in. Don't cost three hundred dollars each. I don't think, do they? These chairs? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Maybe they do. <laughs> um, they have to be more comfortable for them. <laughs> for the part, I, yeah, I don't know what. Eight, I, I haven't gone chair shopping recently. Eight but, yeah, <laughs> but. Uh, a good office chair can run you six, seven hundred dollars. Obviously. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but but these are good office chairs that they use for. Two hours a week. This isn't like their desk. So, who is this finance committee? <laughs> okay. Do we have a specific question on the chairs? No. 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 That's what okay. they cost. That's what okay. they cost. Okay. But it doesn't seem to lie. <clears throat> um, all right. Not if there's five of them. Telephone. Um, they are going to uh, huh? e everything. Huh? Telephone. Telephone. They're going to get two MiFi devices. Whoa, whoa, whoa. MiFi? MiFi. MiFi is an electronic 
device that uh, I put a little note here on it. It's a uh, you know that thing I pull out every now and then and I get my internet over. That's my thought. So it's like a hotspot kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, hotspot. it it creates it creates a hotspot. Okay. Off the cell network. Now that you can do that on a particular phone, but the, I think a MiFi system is uh, an actual uh, little device. It is. Which, little, little credit card blocks thing. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that they, they maybe authorize up to ten person persons. Yeah, you see eight thing. people. Yeah, something. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, they're uh, they're getting a couple of those. Um, so it boosts the speed of the internet. No, no it, it, is, it, it just gives you. It is internet. It gives you connection. It's, it's, it allows you to access the internet uh, via the cell phone network. Instead of having a, the building's going to be hardwired. Instead of having a Wi-Fi with the hardwire and all that. But they already must have that now. They're change, They're doing all sorts of changes to the whole computer system and the telephone system and the communication system. It's okay. It's major changes. So how much we spent? Actually, much, kid them a little bit. I said, how much we spend that on that? One of the finance committee members uh -huh. is going to be uh, very glad to see us moving slowly towards the cloud. Is, mm -hmm. is actually it's on me on six hundred, and we are in fact using the cloud a little bit now. What's the breakout? I mean, they've got a, they've had a budget right along for telephone. Yeah, but it was yeah. six hundred every year. Yeah, but what, what, what was the six hundred for? That was for the phones. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, how many of these? How many my files are they getting? Two. They get two, so nine hundred each. Three hundred. If you figure they spend six hundred and then they get these two things, and that's the extra six hundred. Yeah, six hundred. But I'm looking at six hundred to eight hundred, eighteen hundred on the telephone line, right? Oh, that would just ring the change money, right? Right. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. twelve hundred. That's six hundred. Kind of thing. That's There's a separate pricey. budget for telephone something. <laughs> you can buy a cell phone for that. Um, so no, it is. It is pricey. That that's that is. I bet they're going through all the computers. That, that is, is a communication um, budget. Yeah. Because you know, what happens with the MiFi is like, it's like any cell phone, you have basically a service contract. Yeah, it's got to be up in the. So, yeah, here it is. It's, it includes. Yeah, it's 25 grand. It, really, it's so that, it's, that's it's a like telephone budget. It's like you're buying a cell phone. It's, it's a cell phone. It's a cell phone. It's a double plan, right. except right. I give you this. I just got lucky and opened it. Right. Yeah. So, um, okay, well, so 600. Are there different uh, size over, ones? I mean, that, like the I suppose could be things like 600 over a year. People having cell phones? No, that's about right. That's if right. that includes the contract, yeah, yeah that's, 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 that's good. Right. Right. You don't buy a MiFi per se; it's yeah. used by itself. Yeah. So, to the to the so it's fifty bucks a month each. To the probably. board of selectmen, each have cell phones. It could be. That could be what the six hundred is, because other departments do not have a telephone budget, mm -hmm. and there is a communications budget, which is going to be the phone system, which is twenty five grand. So it could be that it's cell phones. Well, cell phone for We're cell phone for Chris would be for our mm -hmm. side port members. I don't think so. But, okay. but Chris might very well have one. That the town pays for? Sure, conceivably. Poppy. If it's in there. And I take we're doing this because we're modern. It's, well, no internet down in the senior center. These won't be in the senior center, will they? Well, where's it going to be? Where I assume they were going to the annex. This will be annex. No, there are a couple of them. One, one of them Chris is going to have, and the other one is going... Okay, Chris is going to have it? Well, it's going to be upstairs. Like in his office? Uh, yeah, oh, I, I think so. I think so. Let me let me double check on these guys. I mean, how's Chris get into it now? Uh, we're, I think we're hooked into Comcast. Okay. And Comcast is so going to later. lose Comcast in exchange for this. Well, I don't know what the relationship between... Comcast. Okay. All right. yeah, it would seem like you wouldn't need it in Chris's office because you, he has access now. Whatever he has access through with Comcast, he would have, a wife have access with yeah. with phones and yeah. cell and phones and everything. Would, Comcast would be more dependable. Just that. so the yeah. question: Where are they going to use them? Not as much about how much they are. Yeah, there was some talk about yeah. Kathy and voter. Yeah, I mean. It, oh, they're using those. They're using the new oh, that things. Little iPad thing, yeah. yeah. Where you sign in, you get your credit. Your, well, that's that would run the schools, isn't it? Right. You know, so we're covered basically for the school. So I guess my big question is, if they're going to use Wi-Fi, so it's fine, but where and how come? And are they? Is there an offset? By yeah, right. is there an offset? Are we dropping, are we dropping something in yeah. exchange for this? Yeah. Because you're going to be limited in terms of the amount of data you can get. 
you know, they'll they'll cut you off after a certain amount of data use. Right. Versus, you know, Comcast, you know, won't do that. Let me uh, let me ask for some okay. additional information. Wow, we went up $35? <laughs> wow. Yeah, John's big, expender. Big expender there, John. 2%, Davey. Would you take a different route to Boston? <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> Why the finance when you put you on? Like 35 bucks. 35 bucks. Because it's 2%. <laughs> <laughs> Actual. <laughs> yeah. That was the, that was the <laughs> guideline. <laughs> That's what we can do. We can offer to cut our budget by 10% to save other departments. We can eat each other a dollar. Okay. I mean, actually, looking at our actual, yeah, we can cut it by more than that. We can cut it by 35%. Exactly. Everybody get 10 bucks. Um. Computer systems. Okay, there oh, is. <laughs> there is a. Uh, you, you two guys don't have it yet. Let me copy that. There's a big packet of material from Acuity, and it's got the details on uh, what's happening. At any rate, the, the basic idea is uh, is this. Acuity is the group that we contract with for taking care of our computer services, and Chris said we now get. Technical assistance, you know, dial up, ask what's wrong, 24/7. Uh, but they have a new service offering, which is to have a real person come and actually look at things once a month, fix things, make recommendations, which you don't have to take. Um, and um, it basically frees up Chris's time from having to do all that stuff too. And uh, there's a couple other things as part of this. They're uh, switching to an Office 365 <coughs> system. Um, so type, type system. Wait, wait. Do we answer? <laughs> so we're switching to a cloud-based system? I think I saw the word cloud in there someplace. Wow. <laughs> yep. well, okay. I, 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 I said somebody we're getting that risky. 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I did it just for you. <laughs> I, I, I said to him, I said, one of the finance committee members is going to be very glad to see you. Oh, 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 we, we couldn't do a take this because it wasn't secure or something. <laughs> is it secure now? Yeah, Are they anyway, convinced? It's, pretty, it's actually pretty hard to get to even use Microsoft products anymore, isn't it? Unless you get a license. You buy a license, I guess. Yeah. A multi, it's a multi year yeah. license, I think yeah. you have to get for. Um, yeah. But anyway, so. Uh, we're doing that. And the other thing, apparently, is we've got uh, a number of firewalls which are no, no longer supported. That makes sense. So yeah. they, have to be, they have to replace those. Explain the firewall to me, because my firewalls on my computer all come with my, well, you, my you, you Norton probably, security. You, you so probably Mac computer Norton, and they'll update automatically and yeah, stuff but, like that. So what, what are these? So, uh, well, we're probably dealing with more sensitive data. And, you know, so it's probably more proprietary in terms of what these guys do. And it's just a firewall, or is it, or is it the whole security? It's probably I, I a bigger was, box. I would assume some... that we're probably using a VPN as well, which is, you know, way more secure. Um, so. Somebody really want to get through your Norton firewall, they could. <laughs> I'm sure they could. Yeah. <laughs> so the point is, is that <laughs> some teenager may not be able to get through it's this in 10 minutes. minutes especially minutes. if you buy Casperian or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Here, come on in. Yeah, just ask him. <laughs> are there, What'd are you say, there, Mr. Putin? <laughs> are there any rumors about whether Russia is interested in our election system? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, what, what, so basically, we're going to spend $6,000 more. And it'll free Chris's time up from doing six this work. Whatever. Yeah. Hey, I need my computer to be yeah. rebooted. Yeah. No, it's a nice. Well, no, I mean, it, on that. It, in terms of actual maintenance and stuff like that, yeah. it does make sense. But my question is that if we're going to use cloud, you know, a system, cloud system, can we now finally move to storage. having all our storage documents on the cloud and public access and all that type of stuff? I, I would be very surprised if Akuti wasn't. Talking about that, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, you know that's uh, we know. I, I bring it up just casually, like yeah. That. I mean, can we finally finally get to where every other private organization is doing already? <laughs> so, 
So uh, the next item could be part of, could answer some of our questions from before. Maybe Chris is going to offload some of his accounting to Kathy. Uh, okay, are we finished with the computer systems? Sorry, I jumped topics. Maybe not. Yeah. Uh, the uh, Chris wants to start a training plan with Kathy so she can start doing some of the work on the accounting system. So, what is a training system? I don't understand. It, apparently, it's a massive software program. Oh. Among other things, and uh, I guess you have to learn the ins and outs of how you do things with it. Um, and why and does I, it cost I didn't. Money? Hmm? Why does that cost money? To train somebody? Yeah. We take training courses. I guess. So this isn't a salary increase for her because she's being trained. This is we're paying. Not to require the knowledge. Because it shows up under wages. Maybe, maybe, you know, I, when I, when I learned software, I got sent to. Pardon? It's under wages. Yeah, right, well, she's probably going to be paid she, a regular wage. And she goes to, uh, you know, over I mean, she's the, spending uh, time here. Goes to so, Seattle to learn, you know, right, whatever I, the software yeah, is. I don't know for certain, but I suspect that her wages will increase if she takes on additional kinds of responsibilities. Basically, I think they're, they're trying to, I think. Uh, is this the same Kathy that just got that other pay increase? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, so wait a minute, she's getting, and these wages are the same person? Uh, I think so, but I will check on that. How many different pools does she get paid out of? Just two. Just two. <laughs> <laughs> Because I feel a little bit different about that pay increase if that whole so, line wasn't her salary before. So but this, it can't be if this is also her salary. This money is purely for training her in the software. Nothing to do with operating the software. But is it? No, no, no. That's to come. No, uh, the, uh, the statement about training her is the background for this, is that he wants her to start becoming a person who can use this accounting software and right. do some of the work. I get that. But I don't get, does she get a pay raise just to learn how to use I mean, software? And, and she's going to get additional hours while she. Is that it? Or just paying for hours to go to I, class? I would interpret it that she's working 30 hours well, we have, a week we and now a, she's going to be we working we 35. We have a wage increase under the selectman's budget. And then we have another parent wage increase here under the. Yeah, I mean, what's her total salary, salary here? Well, her total salary is this number plus Wage increase on that. This, this is she's probably at the money. same rate, mm -hmm. just more hours. Okay. And, but if your total salary is just part of this line and part of another line, then these wage increases are a massive percentage of her salary. Well, I can't put that well, together. Yeah, only if she has the same responsibilities. No, I'm just saying. If, if she's you, really in a different job, then it makes sense. That's what I want to find out. No, 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 I get that. But I'm just saying that the pay increase we were talking about before was an 11.9% increase on that line. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if that line isn't all her. That's two years worth. No, I'm just saying. But if the line isn't all her, right? then it's a much bigger percentage increase on her salary, plus this amount, which is a 33% 33% increase on this line, if this line isn't all her salary. In other words, you put these together, how much is her salary actually going up next year? Yeah, let me, let me find out, and I'll also verify that I think they're really creating a, a new position. And if they're creating a new position, right, then that would be a good thing to, to say, like, this new and position if instead and if they're of creating this. a new position that will ostensibly it will be taking workload off of Chris. the accountant Chris mm -hmm. and we had under the computer budget some additional right. stuff taking workload off of Chris mm -hmm. and I guess I don't want to see a year from now well Kathy's not doing all this accounting stuff so now we have to go hire somebody to do her job and we've just in effect increase the size of town government because gosh we have to because of this training in other words if she can't do this new accounting stuff under her current hours they're just redefining her job who's doing the work she's doing now and will we just a year from now need to be hiring somebody to replace her to replace them she doesn't work a full week at the moment. but well that's the question is she now just are we just giving her 10 more hours a week we, and we could very in well which case doing. then yeah, this is all different but there's a lot of there's a lot of unknowns here What's the accounting system they're using? Do you know, John? No. Okay. 
Uh, wait, you know, I think the same. Same one, Braverman's. Braverman's. Or I don't know if it's called Braverman anymore, but that's yeah, that's the last I heard. It. Didn't did, didn't, didn't we heard. didn't we buy a system that was the school was both using the same system like Which three four sense. years ago? Yes, yeah, right? my memory is how long ago? I don't know, three four years ago, two three years ago. Conversation forever, but I don't remember if it actually happened. I you would think in terms of the software buys, it'd be one size fits all for the across the time. I'm pretty sure we spent yeah. the have a consistent system. It's difficult system. with the way the, the school operates. <clears throat> yeah, they're because the ESC makes them do the accounting their their way. Okay. Which is not necessarily the way anyone else no, it does, it. does it. The chart of accounts that's used by the school is entirely different numbering set than, than mm -hmm. what the town uses. All right, that'll be a good review for um, us to just uh, go back and find out where we are in this whole yeah. question of what the town accounting system is, what the school accounting system is. Uh, is there any relationship between the two? Yeah. Okay, anything else on the town account? Mm -hmm. Why did the call? Why did the audit go ago? down like in half? Right. Oh, from sixteen to seventeen, went from forty thousand to twenty thousand. On which? On the audit. On audit. Is the audit the auditors we pay to come audit us? I don't think so. Or is it auditors? We're we, auditing maybe we had else. two done in one year and it was yeah. double dipping. Well. You know, late on one year and on time on the next year. That makes sense. Yeah, there were there were two audits in that year. Yeah. So. We need to audit the audit. So this is our outside audit. Who are we using now? Uh, yeah, because notice the on the uh, details of that one was an encumbered amount. Means oh, that, that it means that it had been budgeted the year before okay. and not spent in the year uh, before, but was going to have to get spent, so it got carried over. So, so maybe spent. Bob guessed it. So, so when it's on that encumbered line, then it means that there was something about the billing that didn't work out. Okay. Correct. Okay. Um, also, you may remember a few years ago, the budget for compensation for the accountant had increased by about eight thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Mm -hmm. And that was uh, in case that the select board were willing and wanted to hire an outside, outside account. 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 So yeah. And uh, it worked out differently. Yeah. Who is our outside auditor? Okay. Oh, why don't we just look at the report we get? Oh, wait a minute. We don't get the report. We don't get that report. That's right. Assessors. Where is the assessor's office? That's in the Pardon? The assessor's office. Soon to be in the old library. <laughs> oh. No, it's, <laughs> it's in the old library. It's, it's, it's in the, the old, left of the, the, uh, of the uh, tax it's collector. The it's in the annex. Yeah, so you walk in, have you ever have you been in that You walk yeah. in that back door and you walk straight, straight ahead, ahead and yeah. you get to the tax collector. collector. And uh, to the left of that is the uh, assessor's office. I, I guess yeah, the, yeah. Yeah. So that, that's my question. Then. Why do they have their own separate bills for telephone, for example, office supplies, etc.? It's their department. So the, the, the telephone bill like for the building just gets split up among all the different departments? I mean, that's why I understood. Is nothing, that just what's happening here? There's or nothing or for yeah. telephone there. There's nothing in the... Yeah. It's just a line. Oh, the telephone one doesn't exist. Okay. And that would have been, all right. And then they just buy it. I got it. So, so the question is, who pays for the telephone for people? Like yeah, exactly. Because by all your previous oh. argument, they should be built to them. Right. Now we that they're not being paid. case, but it's pays everybody's phone. Yeah. Yes. The whole town. Right. So that's why it's, it's just there because it used to be there. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, and uh, this is where, if you look at the wages there, this is the 5.6, if you look at salaries and board assessors, it's up 2%, and the wages is up 5.6%. Mm -hmm. That's the effect of the difference between the 2% on the 
for the elected officials and the step plus two. Yeah, right. For, uh, and and that, that translates through a lot of budgets. Treasurer, I didn't have any questions on the treasurer. Uh, now we'll get to the tax collector. And um, there's some interesting things here. Um, one of which is that um, you notice there is a, uh, a tax collector um, salary item. If you go, go on to two ahead to the town clerk. And the town clerk at the top of the line there is a salary. And you notice what, you notice what the, uh, the difference in uh, the uh, line item for the salary is. And there's a bigger change on one rather than the other. And uh, so I was asking questions about uh, some of these changes in the amounts and all. And um, the explanation was for the town clerk that uh, the town clerk felt that the salary of the town clerk, the compensation of the town clerk, ought to be the same as the compensation for the tax collector. And that's why there's that larger percentage increase in that line. So then I went and I actually looked at the line and I said, that doesn't make it the same. Well, it turns out there is additional compensation paid to each of these two positions which does not run through the budgets mm. for the uh, for the uh, town clerk the town clerk uh, gets fees for the dog licenses and that pays the neighborhood of a thousand dollars a year in addition to the salary amounts that run through these budget books and the uh, tax collector gets paid uh, fees on late tax payments. So when you look, at a, you look at your tax bill, there's a line for fees, there's a line for mm -hmm. interest, there's a line for the actual tax, some other stuff. And demand. And demand. Demand, it's demand fees. Yeah. And the, um, and the uh, tax collector gets to keep those demand fees. So and get, that runs the amounts. Just keep individually? Yes, there's a bookkeeping that happens for it, but the the money that the money that you write for the check is broken up into different pockets, and one of these pockets is this separate bank account. I mean, it's the front it's town books that it runs through, but it just runs off of these budget amounts. So if we all want to be great and give a pay raise. We just have to basically be late. Contact. Well, you know, I was thinking about you know, <laughs> that we're, you ask how do airlines possibly make any money these days? Well, they take in billions of dollars of oh, fees, yeah, fees, which, yeah, yeah. which used no, to be I zero that, years but, ago. But, so. but that goes to the organization, and <laughs> I've never heard it. It's, it's, but this it's, is an it's, independent it's, organization. It's, it's, the analogy would be the bank fees go to pay the CEO. You know, <laughs> no, the bank teller. Right. They're going to pay the bank teller, not the CEO here. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this just and, seems but bad. It, but it's on, the, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, on, it's on the books. It's not like... Somebody comes in and pays for no, it's not it. It's on the books. And they just kind of go, no, the, figure, the figures are all there. That's run through accounting systems. And but why? why? A, at the, at the turn of the century, for. it was not on the books. Yeah, it's accounted for, but... But yeah. why would you why do this? It wasn't accounted for. Why wouldn't you simply go to the town revenue stream Why did a town clerk get a benefit when there's more dogs in town, and why does the tax collector get a salary increase if there's more late tax payments? And who made those decisions? Why wouldn't it go run through the budget, I guess, is my Exactly. No, the demand fees, I'm pretty sure, under statute. So by law, if you have dog licenses, the town clerk gets the cut? The conflict's I believe that's also true, because the town has to adopt the schedule, and I think you have to say what but does it what have they to are on top of the other to. salary, or can you adjust the salary based on how many dog licenses there are in a given year? You can get away with it, you could. <laughs> you know, you can get away with it. It just, it just strikes me as an odd payment scheme. No, there, there really was a time when the demand fees were, were not paid into the town. They were just kept by the collector, which then consequently means that it's tax it's up to them to declare it on their tax returns. So can we privatize dog collecting by getting someone else in town to just do the licensing for half the price? I mean, 
I don't think he gets it by doing it for the amount that they get. This. You know, the thing, the thing is, like work. all the antics. Well, I know it is because you have to, you have to do the accounting for it separately. You have to. Uh, I bet you, you would never find somebody to do that for that amount of money if they weren't already doing other things that were connected with it. Because you'd have to basically go through the same process twice. It's probably not a lot of money. Well, for the demand Not fees, the demand right. fees is. So yeah, I wrote, I wrote the money. figures down there for the demand fees. The demand okay. fees is, is a reasonable amount of money. But um, we, can, we can ask the question. I don't know if it's really part of this budget process because it can't be resolved as a budget item. It's going to be resolved as a change in the, maybe it's a change in the bylaws or something. I don't know. I don't know. I just, it strikes me as one of those things that it would be hard to stand up at a town meeting and say, we've decided that for the demand wait. fees, we're going to have a cut going well, to this ex person, ex and the demand fees are going to go this person. I just have a hard time imagining convincing people to get There's something or other coming up. If it's now, if we have this, <laughs> there's no way to do it. It's the only way to do well, it. Well, except that there are, there are positions who are paid only on fees. Uh, the health inspectors, uh, for example. The stuff right. that they, they, their fees are paid for their work, um, so the work is over and above whatever that else right. they might do. But that's their only job, is to go do those things, and then they get paid by the number of them, in effect, right? Well, not the health inspector. Health inspector has got to do stuff, I think. But, it, but still, it's the question of, it's the question of, if there is a, a system which is a little bit different and requires something additional to be done, then um, how do you account for the variability in that when you set a salary? On the other hand, it it also is to me one of these questions of if you're taking a look at who's supposed to be looking at the budget and deciding the budget, working within the system. Um, the elected officials are completely independent of the select board. All right. All right. And so, why does the select board, outside of the broad structure of the town, have anything to say about what goes on? With They don't, right? So, but it is a. Uh, I think, I think it's an interesting question, um, and we can ask now. But I think we probably recognize it's not really going to be resolved by budget issue. That's not going to be resolved. But the pay increases above the two percent are tied to exactly this question. So I guess, in the absence of getting any handle on why in the world would we be did doing the it fees this way, go down? Yeah, I mean. You know, we you have know, less we dogs eight. in town or something, or the town clerk receives some raises fairly frequently. Right, the town recently, clerk. didn't she? But the town clerk has she a higher salary the than that? the tax collector, yeah. according to this. And it's the town clerk saying she must be paid as much as the tax collector is being paid because the tax collector is getting all this other chunk of money. I think that's the issue that was made when she right. saw some saying, increases a few years so ago. So this increase is not bringing her salary up to, if we, if we bring her the same salary to the up. tax collector's total salary, we'd be giving her a pay cut. So we're saying, in effect, well, yes, we we're getting up to the ten nine equal ten ninety nine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then because the stuff is variable, then is. do we revisit this every year? And then do we bump <laughs> this salary up to whatever the high is? So one year there's a lot of late fees. The tax collector gets a bunch of extra money, so we give a salary increase to the town clerk that year. The next year the late fees go down, but we don't cut the town clerk's salary back down. Well, you know, if we're going to do this sort this, of thing, this year it, it looks like the. The demand fees went up yeah, exactly. over the prior years. Which so is the perfect year to ask for your pay increase. Exactly. And yeah. the next year when they go yeah. back down, we don't get our cut. And, and, and it illustrates one of the problems, I think, particularly because we have the system where we have so many elected officials, which are completely independent of the select board. The a town administrator, who has nothing to do with these departments, has now been given a um, reasonable sounding proposition that the tax collector and the town clerk should be paid about the same amount of money for the work that they do for the town. But what's the mechanism for doing that? Well, it's bizarre. Yes. It's absolutely bizarre. And so how is it that you will go about satisfying what seems to you as if it's a good principle when the only tools at your disposal are this bizarre combination of pockets of money that can go into payment to different people? And then what happens 
when the workload changes in one year for another, yeah, does that affect the good. basic system that you're doing? Oh, no, there's something else going and on. And you give the other person a pay cut because it's first person going to pay cut. Yeah, the, the, like. the workings say that it's not a basic system. No. It's not a system. So the, the, first of all, the town administrator has to try to figure out how to deal with it. And then you got the poor old finance committee oh. <laughs> who has to say, what? <laughs> but also recognize the same principle, that probably the principle is a good one. And yeah, I, I, that's another part of it. Well, it, it. There's nothing that strikes me as obvious that town clerks and tax collectors should make the same amount. I don't know which one should make more or less, but I, I, I don't know enough about it to think, oh yeah, obviously it's the same job. Way, way, way back when, when we had a personnel study done, I think probably the last time we had one done, um, it came, up, came out that the they felt that the clerk and the collector should get the same. So there is a reason to so make these so, things. So okay. that, I go out. Now, how accurate they were, who knows, but they had no problem saying that. So we certainly don't have the mechanism to allow this principle. No, we, can, we, have to we can say, okay, we're going to make these two salaries the same. We're going to move the town clerk down to the tax collector's salary so they the same salary. Three. And that will go over really well. What we'd have to do is devise a bonus system. <laughs> I'm reading chapter 60, section 15 of the general laws, which is entitled Fees of Collector you know, for, for municipalities. And it lists all the fees, basically, that um, the uh, collector can do. And it finishes, the collector shall count to the town treasurer for all interest charges and fees collected by him, but the town shall reimburse or credit him for all expenses incurred by him, including all lawful charges and fees paid or credited by uh, him for collecting taxes. But it's not like the, our town collector is laying this money out of her pocket. Right. It's coming out of the town budget. So I, I still see a disconnect between fees collected are in essence approved as wages, for lack of a better word. To Is the, the term demand mentioned in there? Uh, it says all fees, so let's see. Um, for interest, for each written demand. For each written demand, okay. Yep. So that, that's what the demand fee is for a written yep. demand. Right. Yep. But you're right, that makes it sound like I need to get a elect fee, so I have to go incur expenses to collect this late payment. And then they can yeah. reimburse me. Yeah, they, they, they reimburse my can, time. They reimburse my town budget, which if that makes you sense. Can, you can so. picture this starting too at a time when so. all the things were done by hand. Yeah, so yeah, the, no, the no, collector no, had no, to go I, through I, and no, look no, at I, all I, the records I, I, and see. Who's I, I, get, I get I get all that. Yeah. But are we positive that fees collected by the town collector are really an augment of the town collector's salary? I mean, it just sounds weird. It does sound weird. Especially and it, given it, it that it doesn't sound like this is supposed job to be job happening yeah. under the statute. Well, I, I don't know the answer to that, but I suspect it's because this is the way it's always been done. <laughs> okay, well, okay, well, but, and, it's, but, but the it's, chances it's, are it's legal. Chan yeah, I can't believe I can't believe that. I, I can believe it's legal, but there's no being legal, and it may be, it's necessary. Yeah. In other words, yeah, I mean, but it doesn't. Sound I would like, be first in line like saying we ought to talk about this at some point, and maybe not in this yeah. week, I'll right? Because we have other things. But just sort of saying, Shut does it make more sense to just put the tax collector on a salary? and the town clerk on a salary, and these fees all accrue to the town, and then they get a salary for doing their job. Like, why have this variable the salary? Well, what's the one, measure, exactly. one measure which we don't have, and we can't <clears throat> do a survey of towns in Massachusetts real quick, but I suspect, certainly, that in a city, there's a mayor and all the departments are appointed people, employees exactly. by the mayor, that the tax collector does a job, the uh, exactly. town clerk does salary. a job, they paid a salary, and whatever comes up in their job, that's all figured that's into what the job do, is, right. what the value of the job is. So yeah. that you don't, you don't, in those circumstances, I can't imagine a city paying out demand fees. Right. To uh, it sets up such perverse collector. incentives for tax collectors, by the way, right? You know, this idea that I get extra cut whenever they come in late. Mm -hmm. That's like that's just a weird. No, 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 no. They actually have to send out a demand bill. Exactly. I'm just saying. Yeah, it's not. That sets they up. just can't automatically say you're late. Give me two bucks I or get whatever. That, it is. But it does set up a very strange incentive structure. Yeah. And this is not an issue of whether the total amount that they're making is an appropriate amount of money. Exactly. Nothing, 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 nothing to do with that. that. Nothing to do with that. Um, in fact, in some ways, it might be better for the tax collector to put up on a salary, like here's the amount. And you, you know, it's not a pay cut when you go to a salary. You're making what you made, but now you just do the job and the town accrues the. I, I don't think that our collector abuses it. I, I, I have no I mean, reason I to think our tax I've missed, I've I've I, 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 I,
never gotten a demand no, no, notice. No, 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 I have absolutely no reason to think it's no, being yeah, abused, what I'm, but it's just what I'm weird looking. Is, what I'm saying is, um, you know, basically what our tax collector gets paid is, is under what the average is for the, for the state. Yeah. So I have no problem with that, it's just it's an odd way to do it. And, so. and so if we could clean up the budgeting process with a minor change like this, and then the salary line here reflects the full salary, that would, yeah. that'd be a really nice thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm missing something that we like. Over. Where do we try to figure out who gets paid what in the public buildings budget? <laughs> <laughs> uh, these meetings are so All right. <laughs> we The legal department, we may have to increase this if we actually get them to do the kinds of things that we're asking questions about. <laughs> <laughs> How much does every question well, yeah, no. us? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Rob does his pro bono. <laughs> Speaking of legal, are we still fighting with South Hadley? Is oh, the yeah, the legislature's not going to do anything with about the, that. With the, how about the building, Aldrich Hall? Do we know what's going on with that? or Are there any other legal matters before the town? I don't know. Um... Doesn't look like they're anticipating. Let me, um, yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe with the local uh, representative this retiring, is a, this is a pretty maybe a new one might budget. be a new one from a different town might be able to yeah, right. push a little. <laughs> so, so I think South Hadley still have moves. <laughs> Pardon? South Hadley will still have moves. <laughs> there, 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 there There's a few there. more people there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who's running? Do we know? I don't know. Yeah, no, 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 no. John. Hmm? Right. You're right. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, I was going to camera. I could start a so, so, so Mark Bale is done. Mark's done. Mark's done. Right. And yeah. then... Is anyone declared it? Not that I know of, but... Yes. Yeah. So... Who? Uh, Jay Joyce. Jay Joyce? I think they have to, what, the end of April? The front row end of March? When do you have to? No, the election is going to be in May. right? It is in May. So at the end of March, yeah. you have to get your papers in? Or does uh, anybody even know? I don't know. Okay. Um, let's go on to public, public buildings. Public buildings. The, uh, hmm. well, this is what you were talking about, Bart? Well, and, and, and now, you know, the, the situation in public buildings is that it started, uh, I think maybe this fiscal year. Uh, the people who used to be on the town payroll of public buildings are now part of the school union. And uh, this is part of that system so that we have basically one group of people doing maintenance and uh, the compensation is equalized for uh, the people, I guess, in some sort of way. But they do maintenance, um, they can do maintenance at the public buildings or maintenance in the schools. So, so Dave Turcott, I think, is now a member of the school union for or whether it's a special unit for custodians or whatever it is. But um, so that affects a lot of the accounting that goes on. The uh, accounting for uh, the, uh, uh, I think it's the name of Sullivan in the schools, that runs through the town's books and then gets charged back to the schools through the town expenditures on behalf of the schools, thing, which is early, early on. But the other thing is that there's uh, been uh, this negotiation process for the union on salaries, so that affects the things going on here, just like it did for uh, some of the town employees and stuff. But um, there are amounts in here which are kind of unknown right now, and there are some things in here which are really a two-year budget effect of negotiations that took place last year, and that there's going to be uh, there's a possibility that a special town meeting in the spring, uh, some adjustments will have to be made on the salary lines. Mm -hmm. of, so that 
that really is the overall coloring of all the stuff that's going on with the wages and the uh, and, uh, compensation. Do um, you think you could get something in writing? You mean like bread, that? bread breadcrumb kind of thing? Pardon? You mean like a breadcrumb kind of thing? No, but I mean. You want a written description of how the maintenance works between the two? Yeah, I mean, I, I can see where 25 odd grand is charged to the school department through the municipal uh, contribution. Well, that's what we charge the school for David's salary. So the public buildings budget must have his total pay in there. Pardon? I doubt, I don't no, think the school, school carries So the school anything. doesn't carry it. Yeah. But you say somebody else, there's more, there's somebody else that... Well, there's, this, they, there's a uh, guy that was hired by the schools. And where is he? I think he's in this budget, too. But he's not being charged off. He's in this budget, but not in the school budget? And where do, and where do you see the charge off, I guess? So this is, well, this is in here. Oh, yeah, interesting. Okay. Where we are here. David Turcott is pay is fifty grand, and twenty five half of it is being charged charged through the school through the town contribution to net school spending. Ah, okay. But if there's another, but I don't see anything else. That, there's nothing on here that deals with any other employee. So. So we get two, there's two guys that do the job and they're both split I don't know based on what they do? Well, if Turcotte makes $50,000 a year, or whatever it was, the budget for next year is 135000 which would mean that there's $85,000 of wages unaccounted for, and that I don't think is going to be one custodian. Mm-hmm. Or Dirk got a life for that job. <laughs> so the a quick question might be, how many employees are we talking about in the public buildings? Yeah, but what adds up to the... Yeah. 135,000. Yeah. This wage line has that same problem we saw on the other one, on the um, fourth line down. In 2016, we're at 36, spending 33. The budget goes up to 61 in 2017, but they still only spend 36, and the budget's still sitting up in the high 60s. It's the second time we've seen that exact same pattern in those exact same years of the budget going up in 2017, not being spent, but then the budgeted number is staying up. And then the, in the public buildings, there's also a thing called wages school. Right. Whatever that is, that's only ten grand. Maybe we. But, that's, that but, was it's, only not budgeted, but it's not budgeted. It's not budgeted. Yeah, that doesn't carry over. Yeah. 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 It just sort of is. There's just something odd with the 2017 budget now because we wouldn't have seen these actuals last year when we were looking at the 2018 budget. So this is the first time we're seeing these actuals below the 2017 budget. Yeah, and then we've got somebody in there as a salary. Holy oh, cow. I bet you I know. Holy cow, it goes from 431 to 220? Well, the actual is from 220 budget versus the 431 yeah, budget. Yeah, like what the heck? Yeah. That's the, that's the conundrum here. Well, let me take a, take a look over here at 400 and... Yeah, you know, good for them. Yeah, but there's just, well, why is the budget... Yeah. Because in, in mm -hmm. even on that total, the total budget line is 390, spending 216 in 2016, and then budgeting at 431, only spending 220, mm -hmm. and now budgeting 274, but then this year back up to 340. Wow. We There's need something to, goofy going on here. We need to, like, get a... This one's going to take a lot more time this year. Yeah. And there's a salary item in there. As part of the wages, one of the <clears> items <throat> is salary. Mm -hmm. And salary is a term that's usually used for a contract employee, not for somebody who's paid by the hour. What is TSF? Yeah. 
and I and I don't know who would be in charge of the public buildings in administrative capacity. It would be an hourly worker, so. And that's how that thirty-seven thousand salary that's just showing up is half of the interest. Well, if you got two fifty thousand employees and one thirty-seven, that adds up to your mm -hmm. the total budget. What is TSF? Transfer. So 2016 has got this transfer number, 22. That goes away. So that's why the budget line is going from 36 to 61. But then they didn't spend that extra 21. So whoever salary that was being transferred in in 2016 was budgeted to be transferred over, but not actually transferred over. You know what? That may be half the salary or percentage of the salary of the Could be. It could seems be. like the right time frame. I think because I kind of recall, you know, it's been a couple of years while this process has been going with, but I right. started to really have some talks about uh, figuring out how all this works. Uh, and if that would have been the time frame, then what they might have done is made a determination of what a percentage been. And I think I recall a 50% figure, but uh, I can ask that specific question. Right. But that's my recollection, or closest I can come to a recollection of it, is that that's about the time to get started. Right, and so um, then there wouldn't then they don't charge us they don't charge us whole salary over here and then charge it back. They just allocate it out fifty percent here, fifty percent right. there. And that makes sense for the budget change, but yeah. then that money wasn't spent in twenty seventeen. Is what's weird. So that extra twenty one thousand is still must be in somebody else's budget in twenty seventeen, and then in twenty eighteen and twenty nineteen we still have it budgeted in. But, so I guess I'm wondering why, why did that actual 2016 of 21538 not get spent in 2017? That's what this looks like of what happened there. And yet we're still budgeting for that higher amount. Uh, now, what is the TSF? Reserve fund, reserve fund transfer. What line are you looking at? So it's this line. It's, it's if you, the first three lines. The first three lines in the public That's buildings is a as a five eleven O O O, a five eleven E N C, which is encumbrance, and a five eleven T S F. The T S F is a transfer from reserve fund. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And then that number goes away. Yeah. But then the wage number goes up by. About that amount. Well, I mean, it goes from thirty-six to sixty-one. It goes, up, it goes up actually by more. Well, the budgeted line goes from thirty-six to sixty-one. Yeah, so it goes yeah. up by a little bit more than twenty-one. Yeah. So one possibility for that thirty-six to sixty-one is this. It got rolled into that. That got rolled in. We got rolled from a salary transfer to a wages line. Okay, I can offer. I can offer a theoretical possibility that this whole process started in twenty sixteen and started after the budget season started, so that during the year, they had to make the transfer. Which we, right. which, which, which we did which with the mean, reserve, fund reserve fund transfer. Yeah. transfer yeah. Transferred it in, then, then we didn't quite spend it all. Right. From the stabilization fund. And then, um, and uh, so as you notice, the Turcotte's compensation does it's, not come to the salary line. Right. All right. So if this were to be the beginning of what the arrangement with the, the, arrangement with the schools was right. for maintenance, then I think that might explain that it. That would explain it, but then why didn't we spend it in 2017? Why That's, didn't we spend it in 2017? Yeah, you look at the difference between the budget and the actual in 2017. Mm -hmm. That's the puzzle to me of like suddenly... 61 versus the 36. 36, which is about the 21. So it's like we, we transfer it in to budget it, but then we don't spend it. Spend it. So then that... Yeah, but you got the, ten, the, ten, grand for the 10 grand for the schools. Um, Part time. But then we're that, not, that would that, that could have come out of it. that money. Yeah, that could be it. It could just be it's just getting broken down funny here. Actually, you take that ten ground plus that other thirteen forty six. Although that was budgeted. I guess I'm wondering if it, my my fundamental question is: We've got these budget numbers for twenty eighteen and twenty nineteen and sixty seven sixty nine. Are those real budget numbers, or are we going to be looking at spending thirty six thirty seven? 
Because if we're really only spending 36 out of this account and we've just got some weird budgeting process that has that number higher, we, that's $30,000 that could be reallocated yeah. somewhere. Yeah. I mean, we could if we're not spending, we could reallocate it somewhere. That, and that's not an insignificant chunk of change to be able to reallocate if we're not really spending as much. And so somebody did something back in 2017 to rearrange the budgets, but then it didn't materialize. Right. But right. then um, we're just sort of sitting there. Year year. And well, we'll notice it again next year then. If this is right, next year though, they'll also be really underspent for 2018 and so on. And Or, I mean, uh, it could be a million other things too. I mean, that's what's weird about this. Who can give us answers on these, Sean? Hmm? Who can give us answers on these? Chris. Chris. We'll Chris. start back with okay. Chris. All right. The tank. We've heard about the tank before. They didn't do anything? Oh, the tank? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're at the uh, 5805? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember I said I was showing pictures of the uh, pumper and uh, the uh, road it, repairer. Wasn't it freezing? I was, I it? was told that <laughs> by the finance committee wants to see moving pictures of these sewer flies and worms that they're available. Really? Yes. <laughs> I, I declined myself. You declined <laughs> looking at these sewer flies and the urinals of the police department? But apparently, apparently they had the problem, so they, they had pictures to prove the case. Yeah. yeah. So. Still probably fancier than they had when they were in the basement of the town hall. <laughs> That's not a lot of consolation. You could talk to Kellogg. 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 The police department was in the basement yeah. of Kellogg yeah, and when I was going to kindergarten there. Yeah. When I started there, yeah. I was still there. Um, it wasn't exactly clean. <laughs> the other, other interesting thing about it, that you said that they, that nobody, they couldn't find anybody who knew when the subject systems had been pumped out of the public building. So they they went and they pumped out everything. And he's going to start a schedule so that they now know when it's done. They can make sure that things are done you know, to uh, properly account for uh, the usage and everything else. So I thought that was a, a good thing. But where is that? I mean, that that's under the sewer line. Uh, yeah. So did they do this this year? The. Uh, well, if you look, I think D what they did DPW is they did repairs. It's the reason why it's a reason why the cost has gone down so much. Is that last because year? Because last year they did all of this. Last year they did right? all of it. Now they're yeah. on. Now they're on. Okay, so they this did all, yeah. or almost all of them. Right. And, uh, so yeah. that's why I, you know, I'm surprised that the line went down by that much. Uh, so that's what was going on there. You know, what con the contracted janitorial is. Fifty three hundred. No, it went away. No, nope, no, it's in the twenty nineteen. Oh, right. okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well we only seem to spend twenty thousand eight hundred of it, even though we're budgeting thirty. Mm hmm Some kind of Polishing the floor, kind of thing, or yeah, we've been spending twenty thousand eight hundred actual versus budgeting thirty for quite a few years. Yeah, that's I don't know. I mean, that's another ten thousand dollars. Yeah, another ten thousand. Kind of along the lines with, yeah, with the salaries could be reallocated if it's accurate. Right. Yeah. In other words, if we know we're going to spend twenty thousand eight hundred, there's no reason to budget at thirty. And I also have a question about the COA roof. I swear we just did that in two halves. Maybe, but now we got, but we got three, three appropriations. 
six thousand mm -hmm. one year and six thousand last year and or this this year actually and six thousand for next year. Well, and maybe zero, the half that I was sick of was just the front half. Yeah, it didn't. So maybe it's quarters. Well, it depends how many years it shows up. It may be <laughs> six or eight by the time it does. <laughs> we do six a year, whatever it takes. <laughs> And then this wages part time of the twenty one thousand seven hundred five. I mean, your note says it's a part time custodian to clean the public safety complex and library after complaints about the previous person. So that's fine, but I, I don't understand. I mean, that person was obviously being paid, right? Yeah. So where was their salary? And you think it would be in this line item? Eighteen. Yeah, it was an expenditure for this. Did they fire the person, this? or they just don't have to do it anymore? Yeah. <laughs> Well, but we're not we're showing nothing at all for previous well, years. Yeah, so it's and a, it's because so I mean the job would appear to be a new hire or a yeah. allocation of right. So who? Yeah, um, it could be one of these lines on either the contracted janitorial or the um, maintenance. Well, contract. your note says you got it. It's a, it. It used to be in expenditures for this, and they may get transferred to compensation as a at a special town meeting, and that just I just don't understand what that means in other words why is this new person not being paid out of the same line that the person they didn't like hmm. well there's a doing a good job line and not doing a job <laughs> is that what these little numbers over there <laughs> well, they're, they're, I've got a, a, a different kind of question about it but in theory I think what would happen would be this is that you start at the beginning of the year assuming that you're hiring an outside firm to come do the maintenance on the library and, right. and the PNC and shortly after the start of the year, the complaints that you've had really start catching up mm -hmm. right. year, so you decide you're not going to do that anymore, and you hire somebody. I get that, to but, do that. but then some other line should be going down by 21000 That's the question. That's <laughs> so the question. Can, yeah. and, and, it, and it comes from the What he's uh, doing the budget? That Why does he be... just give us a little roadmap? <laughs> I'm moving this to this. To there, exactly. And then, and then we can... Exactly. Hours, it's certainly hours, a hard hours. question. Yeah. Because it sure looks like we didn't like the other person, so we've hired extra people, to, but we still got the other person on the payroll, is what it looks like. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> so I, I, ha I have the note that money might be transferred someplace else. So I didn't see where, you know, at the meeting, just yeah. Yeah. getting the surface right. stuff yeah, yeah. together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the, um, the, so the, the, the question is that if we're going to transfer money from one of these other accounts, which account is it that we're going to be transferring money this from? This is the, what more questions can we ask Chris Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two more Tomorrow hours. is, do we like Chris's answers? First <laughs> 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 is, bring him in. <laughs> Pretty much. You better be sure you're <laughs> Utilities really went down. Is that because of all our solar -ness? I don't know why. It's probably because it was. I'd be a, curious uh, about that. Warm winter or something. Electricity goes down. Yeah, I mean, is this going down because of the solar contract? Okay, what are we on? We're utilities. finished with public buildings? Yeah. Okay. The utilities. Is the decrease in utilities because of the solar contract? Question mark. Got to be. You <clears throat> signed the solar contract, what, a year ago? Yep. The authorization to do it? And I'm not talking the, the deal we made with the solar farm here in town. I'm talking the, the other one. Mm -hmm. And the school had one at the same point in time. Yep. So this has got to reflect uh, that. I mean, we saved ourselves eight five hundred. You know, the steam things is huge. Is there any backup on that? Yeah, but, uh, Maybe it's only six months worth. Mm -hmm. Well, no, it's, it should be a year's worth. Yeah, it should be a year's worth at this point. Yeah. On the other hand, on the other hand, it's still twenty-seven thousand more than we spent the year. Last yeah, I mean, year. yeah, which you know. Which, you know which and means that the thing, for the, bro the broken record thing I always bring off of, rather than lease this stuff out, can we actually do joint ventures with these companies? And, you know, because obviously they're making a hell of a lot more than the 8,000 we saved. So, 
And maybe the question ought to be: Okay, there is. Is, is, a, yeah, uh, is that an actual saving, or is a, it a bad budget for this year? No, no. There's backup material. Uh, yeah, you can not in the, you, not uh, in the stuff that you two guys have. Uh, yeah, so the, and all I have to do is interpret it. All you have to do is go figure it out from here. Yeah, so it's, right. It's all in here. It's, mm -hmm. here, it's a page that looks like this. Got yeah, I got it. Uh, yeah, which is uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty intuitive stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the key. Pops right out at you. <laughs> There's oh, there it is. I like the code. It's the R S T U W B. <laughs> All right, let me just ask a question. Why did he give that to us? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like us. <laughs> it's just a random letter. Yeah, I, I guess I guess the other thing is is that you know it's great that we saved eighty five hundred and all that type of stuff, but if we would, you know, again, the town did great when we had a public-private partnership with the dome. Are there other public-private partnerships that the town can explore, such as solar or whatever, uh, to recreate when we had good times? Now that, you know, it worked for us before, can we find it to work for us again with other avenues? So, does gasoline also include diesel, or is there another? Yeah. Yes. Ah, here it is. Okay, Thanks. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, in my mind, this is not a high priority question. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know how much time I'm going to have. Uh, yeah. So, I don't want to spend a lot of time on it, but I'll ask the, I'll ask the basic question. No, it's, it's a rhetorical question, but... Okay. Is it worth exploring? Yeah. So the communications one, I mean, this is that same one every year. What is the difference between communications and the phone bill? And do we yet know that? How'd you get there? All right, yeah, I'm on gasoline. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I just assumed there was nothing interesting to talk about about the gas bill. Uh, yeah, gas I'm just going to no. make a comment about the es estimating me method, okay? Okay. Yeah. Both the gallons and the cost per gallon estimates are on the high side. Estimate the cost on these than mm -hmm. underestimate and have to go back to a town meeting. Well, we just time. go to the reserve fund. Yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> and then, then the uh, finance committee has to debate whether or not the town would allow it <laughs> if they were asked the question directly, which is the guideline for the, for the but, expenditures. I mean, yeah, I'm going to agree with Bob on this one, right? 2016, we budgeted $131,000 for gas and spent 62. Yeah. 2017, we budgeted 102 and spent 70. 70. I could buy, yeah, you want to be a little over, but if that's the historical trend in the gas budget, that's just crazy. Actually, yeah. I wasn't looking at that. I was, I was looking at yeah, I saw that. this sort of stuff. And I'm <laughs> no, I saw that and I thought, oh, oh I but it's going to wash out on the other sheet, but it amplified <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> it's even worse when you see that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we no, should. No, it's just... Uh, yeah. I'm not suggesting cutting it or anything like that or thinking about that, but just there's some fluff in there. Getting it closer yeah. to something. Yeah, I mean, but, nice yeah, but you know, we, we, we see our actual, it's pretty easy to predict in terms of you know, gas prices, yeah. you, know, you know. You can look at the spot market. Right. Now, and, and we're, we're over budgeting by 30,000. Yeah, well, in, the first, in 2016, 000. we had twice yeah. as much allocated as we spent. In 2017, yeah. we are up 50% more. So, our, our over budget is 50% is of, the, of the actual gas expenditure. That's all. That's, that's, yeah. that's too much of a cushion. Yeah. I mean, well, I, I, I remember, remember there, we got the, the cushion on those other two items. Yeah. yeah. 
I remember years where gas or fuel oil was in the two fifty and four dollar range. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's right. Here. Oh, absolutely. And so you're worried yeah. if it goes from two fifty to four, but you know, if most years it doesn't go from two fifty to four, and it doesn't. You know, to to have that kind of a budgeted increase just as a matter of course. It, uh, right. But on the other hand, it's an um, it's an easy place to build in some safety margin because. The only thing that gets spent out of this account is gasoline. Right. Yeah. So you over budget here, there's no chance that you're spending the money on something, something else, else which right. you're not telling people at the beginning. It's going to come right back to the town and free yeah. cash the following year. So it's not, I mean, it's not a, it's not a bad place to. I have no problems with it over by, but a 50% over budget yeah. may be a little high. Okay, let me ask, I'll ask the general question about uh, are we over budget? Yeah, exactly, 30% over budget. Okay. Um, I'll run the budget, actually. And the communications question is exactly what is here and what does telephone pay for? Yeah, because this is the same, and we've had this question in previous years, and we're always told they're clean, but like the Board of Selectmen has a telephone budget line. Well, there was a time when, it, when going, going back, all right, there was a time when the, when the telephone budget was a bill charged by Granby Telephone right. for the overall service, and all each individual department had to pay for their own long distance calls. So that's why everybody ended up with an right. item for telephone. Yeah, that's right. right. That's right. The long distance was always a separate item. That's right. You had to go and that was charged to each department, and yeah. everything else was overall. Now with does Granby Telephone still exist? Yeah. Well, not, not as Granby Telephone. By telephone somebody up in Maine. Yeah, some company in Maine now. Um, and I mean, looking back through these, it looks like the Board of Selectmen is the only one that still has a telephone budgeted amount. Which we think is cell phones. Which could be a cell phone. So that so this is all the town phones now. All the well, telephone well, lines are blank except the cell phones for the board of selectmen's office. And then then I know what this is now. Where is the, our internet paid for? Where's what? Where's our internet paid for? Well, Comcast. Well, that's Comcast worrying that that it's got to be out because of the, 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 the supply documentation is Comcast. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's what I suspect internet. this covers. So telephone is really well, we, internet. We replaced the, the telephone company because Comcast has this package deal. All right. Well, probably it was over includes telephone. Could we get this renamed? Is that too much work to rename an account? <laughs> I mean, seriously, is it? Is it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't want to go through a ten-year process. You know process. how to change the heading in a spreadsheet? <laughs> no, I didn't know. These are like some official names that you're not allowed to touch. I mean, what? What? I mean, this goes with the question. <laughs> They're not. Really, a question about the MiFi's. I typed it. So, <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm not sure about that one. There. I don't aside, know if we had that account. So, we could change it. Aside from these school buildings, it's got a Bob font there. Aside from these school buildings, this covers mold. This covers internet. For 18 every, every point. building. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, so, we have we clearly have internet in every, every public building, and we, aside from the school buildings, which this doesn't include. Um, so, if we have internet in every school building in town, why are we? getting my advice. Well, that was a yeah, question right. from before. Right? I'm just saying we should rename this instead of communications to internet service provider if that's what this account actually is instead of being listed under telephone. If that's what this is, it would be better to get it named what it is. If that's not what it is, then I can live with that too. But. And I guess my other question is, why the huge disparity of how much we're spending on internet from building to building? Got a bigger, bigger, right. bigger cable going into State Street. You know, and this is also if this is really the internet budget, then those MiFi sh should be in this budget, this budget yeah. instead of in wherever they were for selectmen or whatever. But, I mean, other the cell phones could be in this. But I mean, you know, if you're going to do this, we could put yeah. all here or not all here, but unless it's capital. Capital under twenty five thousand. Yeah, but my you don't you don't necessarily buy a my five per se. I mean, if you do the forty bucks, yeah. you really it's a service plan. Well. By the time you, you pay it off, it's junk, and you got to get another. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, I got some questions. 
The school isn't involved in this. No, the school's no. not. No. So these are all the other town buildings. You know. But more importantly, you know. Do we have a deal with Comcast? It's called business class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not real deal. We're not big enough to commit Comcast. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, like yeah, this is going to goes back to what's that town? What's the hill town that's out there on the internet company? Leverett or uh, was Leverett net? Uh, uh, yeah. They provide their entire town with all the internet, actually, at better high speed than we can get. Uh, and they're making money. Cool. And they had to do it out of necessity. How did, how did they, they couldn't get internet out there. But so they did just so they, no, they got, got a backhoe and they got some cable grants. and yeah. they, they, they got federal grants. I'm pretty sure it's a ton of leopard. Uh, they got federal grants and now they are their own internet provider for the entire town. Everyone in the town pays 25 bucks a month for high speed internet. Cool. And they make money. It's profitable. Yeah. Can we get the can we get to play with the tasers? <laughs> no. <laughs> Go ahead, I'll we get the tasers. Training. Taser training. I was glad to see that we have them people we could train and using them. You know, I hate to hate to have somebody have people put it would go up. <laughs> okay. I had a question back on public buildings. Oh, okay. What what are the flags? Oh that's right. There's a brand new item. It was a brand new item. Which one are you talking about? That was a flag line on public budgets, on public buildings. And it wasn't small, if I remember. Well, I don't know. $4,000. $4,000, yeah. I mean, a lot of flags. Yeah, I haven't bought a few over it. By the main gate over there at the. Well, there's another one. In 2017, we budgeted 2,000 for flags and spent 78 dollars on them. And then we budgeted 2,000 dollars. Now we're budgeting 4,000 dollars. Yeah. Made up of the year we didn't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, let me ask. I mean, it's easy to assume that if you look at flags around places. Flags get. Ready. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. 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 We might need new flags for town. I mean, yeah, so maybe they just notice they need to replace them all. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's particularly cost. you begin to think that they budgeted one year but they were going to do it and, and then get around, around to it. it. Right. Budgeted again the next year. And now they have Who to. Who knows? We haven't yeah. seen the figures yeah. for that. But yet. the only yeah. ones are at the library. Oh, Kellogg here. Hall. Here. Schools. Here. All schools. No. No. Schools are schools. Well, that's true. That's yeah. right. Did the schools have their own flag budget? Yeah. So you got. You got I wouldn't surprise me if we one at the annex, school. one at the COA, one at the library, one at the old library. It wouldn't surprise me if the town buys the flags for the school. It's a four two places, places, two flags a piece. Yeah. That's five hundred bucks for a. I don't know what those big MIA. flags cost. I don't really. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's five hundred bucks a pop though. And they certainly don't all go in one year. They're just anti-flag, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be my campaign initiative. Hey, <laughs> I am pro-flag. Hey, wait a minute. I'm a, I'm a veteran. Be careful. That doesn't matter. <laughs> so you are running. Okay. <laughs> and I am on the flags for Grammy budget. I'm kind of in slogan. <laughs> we will have a flag in every home. Let's get that on the <laughs> We have this. Please. Yeah. Please. Uh, uh, okay. The, the, the whole salary stuff, uh, if you look over on the, the, uh, the second last column, the increases, virtually everything down in the first uh, almost half of the page down to a figure of a $2,500 increase, virtually all of that comes from uh, this negotiation process. Uh, which left out, uh, left, which left out of the budget for this fiscal year, okay. things that were uh, negotiated. Okay. In the what was the negotiation? 
Apparently, it covered all. No, 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 no. Three percent increase per year. They didn't tell you. I didn't ask. Good question to ask. <laughs> I got nothing to do anything about it now. <laughs> well, no, but <laughs> I mean, you know, gives you an idea of what the mentality is as it relates to town money. <laughs> Um, was Blueberry in so I mean, well, the <laughs> municipal employees are getting two percent. So, if the police were getting four, it would seem to be they've got a real good negotiator on their side. Though the chances are it isn't, because if it went up, what six point eight this year? But what is it over the well, salary? Two. So wages went up four point. Can I ask a question here? Yeah, but see, the salary, the salary is a real <coughs> is a real issue, which is. Uh, taken care of by contract. That would be the right. chief salary. Yeah. Right. So yeah. that one wouldn't be expected to be part of the negotiation right. with the police union. But the rest of the stuff, I think, is all part of the negotiation yeah, process. Sure. So a 4.6 increase. That's the, that's the two-year figure. Okay. Yeah, well, that's so, but it could be 2.3 percent a year. Yeah, it could well, be that's, that's in line. Yeah, yeah. 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 Fine. That's and it line. could be dependent upon um, <clears throat> I would suspect. I don't know for certain, but a lot of contracts work. The time and time and service affects uh, some yeah. rates or some. And you have rates. some offset because so, the part-time wages have gone down. Yeah. How'd you get? What was your percent? There's a four Rob, point. Rob. Four point six, but. Oh, all right. Four point six two. times two, nine point two over two no, years. No. Over two years, two point three. No. No. It, last year, for fiscal year, eighteen, the one we're in. It should have gone up by more than whatever it went up by. Except, you know, getting. Well, I was doing it. The budget in 17 was 906, and the budget in 19 coming up is 993, which means over a two year period, 87,000 on an original of 900,000, which is something less than 5% a year. With 5% a year, it'd be 45 the first year, and 46 or thereabouts yeah. the second year. That's right. Well, the real increases are the overtime and the incentives. Are yeah, they? Go down and do just the wage line, assuming that. And of course, you don't know if there's the same number of men. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 485 is 71 off of 48. That's, yeah, that's a smaller number. John, what's the technical training stipend? The tasers. Taser training is included in there. Okay. And there's also online courses that they're required, required to take for one thing or another. I don't know all the details on that. Just if it's included, that's included in a lot. It's also it says technical training statement. Does yeah, stipend mean, bothers me. They get paid a salary to go do the training, or is it payment for the training? Yeah, that's the st word stipend would indicate they had technical training and now they're receiving a stipend for it. Right. So in other words, if the police officer does taser training, do they get a pay raise because now they know what they're doing? It just, they can't be right, right? <laughs> but that's true what it says. <laughs> that's what it reads like. Question. Um, inside the number at the end, there's things like TSF and ENC, which are transfer and encumbered. What is SUP? And what is FRC and what is STB and what is ART? ART is an article. Okay. It's, a ton of, it's basically like one article. Right. And then free cash and supplemental. That's my guesses. Free cash. Yeah, and then if you were to use, use the, uh, the wage line and figure the percentage over two years, it's pushing 15 percent. And just the wages? Just the wage, just the wage line, the 5112, which gets rid of the overtime stuff. Okay. That's of the full-time officers, and that probably hasn't changed. Yeah, no, I mean, I suppose it could have. Somebody could have gotten a promotion in there. That 
Well, yeah, that line went up by 15% just between 2017 and 2018. But, you know, I, it's really kind of hard to say because if you look at the budgeted wage line back in fiscal year 16, the first number there, that's close to half a million dollars. And then you transfer all the way up to uh, 2019, three fiscal years later, and it's up by 10% over three years. Mm -hmm. So we, we, I mean, we know that <coughs> besides whatever is in the contract, there's just changes in the, in the composition of the personnel. So I, I don't know, and th this is not gonna be, this is no easy to figure out if we ask those kind of questions and just looking at the school budget and trying to figure out something. Mm -hmm. What's the maintenance you, you agreement? Hmm? What's the maintenance agreement for this year? Maintenance agreement? Yeah, eleven hundred. No, do I? Uh, I don't know. Okay. <coughs> merit pay is also a new item in this contract, so there's twenty five hundred dollars for merit pay, which is brand new in this. Yep. So. So it looks like officer of the year is twenty five hundred bucks or something. And I like that we're also still spending on criminalist services. That's my favorite line. <laughs> criminalist. Finger painters. <laughs> exactly. That would be a criminalist. No, fingerprint is uh, blank. That was, that was capital. Was yeah, capital. that was a scanner. So we have it already. Small capital. Um, so, uh, you know, the stuff I asked about is in the in the notes, in the notes there. I also had a question on why the incentive pay went up pretty heftily. Fifty-one forty-two. Ninety-one to one hundred and three. Um, again, I did not ask um, details around what the contract. Yeah, but that wouldn't be contract. The incentive pay is the Quinn bill. Um, so it's paying them to go to school, right? Well, whatever. Well, whatever if, they the, got a, if they got a degree, but it seems like a lot of increase. This is something which they, yeah, seems to me that they should know about this ahead of time, pretty much. I mean, it's been over budgeted um, a little bit in the past years, uh, but uh, yeah. it's something that quite happened. But it's how you see it's by if it's by formula, it's one of the easiest things to budget. Yeah, and the only okay. but it doesn't increase. In other words, it's a function of their pay. You know, they get ten percent more. Well, whatever it is, can't even remember what they are. 10, 20, and 25, maybe, for an associate bachelor or master's degree. But, but it would go up a little bit. But 10, 10 or 12 percent seems like a lot. But I suppose if, if their regular pay went up by 10 percent, then I guess that would go up by 10 percent. All right, I'll ask for the specifics, if any more specifics on the incentive pay. Do uh, you have down to ask them what the contract called for?
Any other questions on the uh, police department? No. The dispatch is pretty much the same. Yeah, the dispatch got the same same issues. Um, How long does a police uniform last? Hmm? How long does a police uniform last? Hmm. I, I never noticed it before. We spend a lot of money on uniforms every single year. Last a year? Is it like a, just a regular recurring expense? Probably might be better called clothing allowance. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's just but I mean, I think they have to actually purchase it. They don't just get the money, they have to purchase something. Right. So, John, what's going on with the fire department? Why do we yeah, have a <laughs> yeah. wage increase? Yeah, this is, this is interesting. And it's been, <laughs> Uh, yeah. no, and it's fine. If you put the police department and the fire department together, it's uh, not a big increase. It's like a uh, it's total. Mean ambulance. Am ambulance, and, ambulance, yeah, and yeah, ambulance and fire. Ambulance and fire. Ambulance and fire. Ambulance and fire. Put the two of them together, and it's right in line with what it used to be. Oh, yeah, that's um, all coming out of the ambulance. What, what we, well, apparently, what, um, well, not apparently, what used to happen in these budgets was this. All. <coughs> Compensation for fire on the salaries of the firefighters was budgeted in the ambulance line. Full time firefighters. Full time firefighters. Full time firefighters are budgeted in the ambulance line. And if any, many of you, any of you remember, ten years ago, or that, we had a, it was a time when we were we were cutting out. I think we cut out fourteen departments in one year. It was part of the the move to get off of spending all the landfill money on operations. We just. Town agreed. We just cut out all kinds of stuff. Uh, so we were in uh, one of the big cost-cutting moods that enabled us to get away from the from the dependency on the. Does that happen every ten years? Huh? <laughs> so we change it whether we need to yeah. or not. <laughs> and uh, in that one year, we voted for a new ambulance. But when the time came to vote for the uh, compensation for the fire department which was on an override vote, it was voted down. This was in the spring. So we had another special town meeting right away and, and we, we went back through and explained the whole thing and said that the accounting of all this, the, the, the counting is all tied up between these different departments and so on and so that you can't really vote for one and not vote for the other because they're tied up, just separate the accounting. So we had another special override election and uh, 173,000 or something like that was voted as an override vote for the fire and ambulance department. Uh, it got complicated by the fact that you're not actually required to have a fire department. <laughs> you're not actually required to have an ambulance department. You can contract that far. It'll cost you a fortune in the combination of increases in your uh, homeowner's insurance plus uh, the cost of ambulance protection. But you're not by law required to have those things. Um, so, but we wanted them. So we had a second override vote, and the second time, the second override vote passed, so everything got put back together. But the accounting of all this has stayed the same. That all of the money for the basic compensation was put over here, and the expenses are put over here, and the funding came from taxes and the override at the time, and the amount from the, uh, from the enterprise fund. Um, so what Chris is doing is finally making a change right. to that. And they did so, a survey, did an informal survey, uh, a study, and they decided that about 25% of the basic compensation is for ambulance and about 75% is fire. So that's the first thing he did, is move the salaries around. And then matched up with that on, on the source of payments for these things. If you look back on the, the first pages, the ambulance, the ambulance budget is what, 300, 305,000, 300, yeah. 300, $300,500, 305, yeah. 305, yeah. That, all of that money for that department is coming from the ambulance enterprise fund. And then the fire department comes out of taxes, which is, includes right. the amount that was for the uh, right. So you read the fire, new fire department budget along with the new ambulance budget. Yeah, you have to read them together. You read them together. Yeah. So we ought to see then, when you see increases for the fire department of uh, uh, 222 and 75,000, we should see corresponding decreases on the ambulance side, right? Ish. Hmm. 
we go up by 222,674, and then we go up another line item by 75,000 on wages. So roughly speaking, we go up 300,000 on fire. Well, you should see a decrease of 300,000 on ambulance, I'm assuming. Well, it's 244, 245, negative. So it's a $50,000 pay increase. Yeah, then. that's, that's, my, that's right. what I'm getting to. It's not a one-to-one -one offset. No, there's probably some built-in uh, salary increases in the okay. line. Yeah. But, but yeah. still. It'd be nice to see it later. Oh, yeah, because it's, it it's 50, it's, but not on the 220 or whatever right. got transferred, because it would be 50 on the yeah. so we 74 see, we see decreases, 220. We see decreases on the, on the ambulance of 167, 79, and 17. Which add up to roughly 250 versus increases on fire of 300. So, what's the 50? What's the 50,000 difference? Yeah. Yeah, because that total was 241 the year before budget, all the ambulance fund, and it's now 296. So 241 to 296 is 20 percent. Yeah. Paying roughly 50,000. For that same line, right. so while they do account for a lot of that, it's not as it's not as weird as it looks, but that still is a twenty percent increase in that line. If that's all that's going on, it's just shifting those two lines. Oh, but there's a seventy-five thousand dollar line down here that's also new. Right, but I've accounted for that. No, if you had that one in seventy-five, oh, yeah, we're at three seventy-five. We're so seventy-five. Oh, no, that makes it worse. But yeah, the wages overtime line yeah, for yeah, the fire yeah, that's yeah, also yeah, new. Yeah. So that actually yeah. is at a, more right. than twenty percent right. now. Now we're up to thirty right. percent. This looks like a massive pay increase when you put the lines together. It may not be, but well, it, it has to come out of some other number, and there's no other number for it to come out of. The seventy-five increase actually, there's a the corresponding wages over time seventy-nine decrease on the ambulance. So that one's moved. Uh, the the, uh, the total budget for the total budget went up by fifty five thousand dollars. Okay. Between yeah, yeah, don't do the total budget. Yeah, I know, but I mean, so that there are that there are perhaps lots of things we have to check yeah, through so to, where, to find out. Where's where, that fifty five thousand? Yeah. But, but the only things that changed were personnel. Right. Okay. If that's the only so, movement. So the only change we should look at is the wage change. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, so we had 136.5 was the budget in the fire last year, mm -hmm. and it's 425, 425 which gets you to 661, and then this year it's going to be 430 plus 176, which is 606. That doesn't make sense. Did I add wrong? What did you get? 430 and 176 is 566. 561. Yeah. 561, so we, 40,000, so it's about an 8%, right. 8 percent gotta, increase. But the salary for the police chief didn't change at all in the two budgets. So a lot of 90,000 out of both of those. For, for percentage purposes. For percentage purposes, if you take yep, 90 yep, out yep, of both yep. of those. So then it would be 471. And five sixteen. So we're dealing with the same four seventy one. Mm. Four seventy one to five forty five off of four seventy, so that's eight to nine percent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's eight to nine percent, it's just not accounted for so And now then the I mean, it's an easy thing to do if you had it broken out by like all the people. Like, what pay rate are all the different people getting? Did they add more people, or is it just wage increases for the actual individuals? And that should be take two seconds to figure out with the broken down by person thing, because salary has to actually be paid to a person. Nine 
955 percent. Yeah, ten percentage. Yeah. yeah, that's a hefty pay increase. Mm -hmm. For the forest fire warden fire permit fees, that's the expenditure on that. Yeah, why is that? Expenditure? Why is that an expenditure on the revenue? revenue? Yeah. Where is it? It's in our own budget line, the forest fire warden. Fire permit fees. And fire permit fees is the only thing in it. Do we have to pay fees to someone? I think we would be receiving the fees. Just if my memory serves me right, and it may not. Is that the offset fees that we vote? There's a, there's a vote that we take at the annual town meeting for off, offset fees, and they are the fees we charge for fire permit. Yeah. So we right. come down. From so there. so it may yeah. be that we transfer them into this account, and then they go ahead and pay them out. No, it wouldn't, because this is just an appropriation. Yeah, this right. is expenses. Yeah. So that's. So why do we have what appears to be an income? Turning into expense. expense. <laughs> Um, be in the, um, and its own whole budget, right? I mean, we created a whole budget for the forest fire work. This is all it is. I got one more question, by the way, on the ambulance, which I always have. On. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's always a half hour at least. <laughs> the part of the annual budget meeting I most look forward to. It's about the same question. As <laughs> of course, it is. <laughs> all right, let's hear. Well, no, first we got to do is our forest fire work. <laughs> Just changed it a little because they're changing their accounting. This year, the budget was $550,000. No, that's last year. No, forget, forget the, the, the capital stuff or the fixed. Um, I don't know where I got my number from. But what it amounts to is that the general fund paid $175,000 tax dollars towards the cost of the ambulance department a year ago. Mm -hmm. Okay? And I came up with a number. said that the ambulance fund paid the balance of 366,000 last year. Okay. If you go through them, the 175 is a fixed amount from an override a long time ago. Mm -hmm. So if you take the 175 off of the budget this year of 305, no. We paid three hundred and sixty thousand last year. We ought to pay three hundred and sixty thousand this year, right? Sure. Makes sense. But we aren't. No. Because we're still going to run the hundred and seventy-five thousand into into the fund. We're running the one seventy-five into the fund. Transfer in from tax right. dollars, 175000 The balance of it is the, is the revenue the ambulance generates. Right. Which is... Whatever it is. Right. And then that is what funds the ambulance fund. That's what funds the ambulance fund. So, so we, if we're transferring 175, we're budgeting 305, we're expecting 130 in ambulance fees. That's right. And we got 360 last year. In ambulance fees? Yeah. So where's the other 230 going to go? Yeah, something like that. So we need to spend more on the ambulance fund. We need to spend less tax dollars. We're spending 305000 on the ambulance enterprise fund. Yeah, but hundreds. that's right. What's it coming from? From the ambulance enterprise fund. It used to be in past years, um, we would spend 
on the ambulance department, we spend three hundred thousand or so from the ambulance fund, and we'd spend one hundred seventy-five thousand in taxes, mm -hmm. one hundred eighty-six thousand in taxes, and that added up to whatever the what was the ambulance budget last year. Right. So for now, just taking the three hundred thousand out of the fund and putting it in, that's exactly what the new budget is. The, and the three hundred five one thirty-seven is in a, it's from from this page on the this page on under the. Uh, Number five, the enterprise funds. That's the 305 137 that we take. So we'll, the whole, oh. what, whatever the expenditure, whatever the budget is set at on the ambulance fund, that whole amount is taken from the ambulance enterprise fund. So basically, the ambulance budget is now going forward going to be set at whatever that number is. Well, there's more, there's more in the fund than that because the ambulance fund, among other things, is set up. To provide for the payments of buying a new ambulance about every ten years. So every right. every ten years we build up about four hundred thousand, two hundred four thousand dollars, or whatever it cost the ambulance for. Mm -hmm. It was four hundred thousand dollars last time, and that's and that slowly builds up into the into the fund. Uh, matter of fact, we may have figure what the ambulance fund is in it. Yeah, it's Right now, the ambulance fund has got three hundred ninety-eight thousand dollars in it as of July first, twenty seventeen. Um, and um, there's there's more. And I asked Chris, what if that? How much we take in fees? He said we take it more than that every year. More than the three hundred thousand. And what he's thinking about doing, among the notes that he's thinking about doing in future years, is. Uh, charging for the fringe benefits that correspond with the salaries, that, mm -hmm. and then take them out of the ambulance fund too, rather than taking them. Right now, those are being paid for by the taxes, because the fringe benefits don't go through the budget line for the ambulance. Fringe benefits all go through the budget lines for the town as a whole, and the portion to the schools is allocated out to them as the town expenditures. But we don't right now do the similar thing for the ambulance service, which otherwise runs independently of the finances of the ambulance, otherwise runs independently of the town. I think it was designed so it would run independently of the town, but to make that happen, you have to pay for the portion of the fringe benefits related to the salaries that go in there. That doesn't happen right now. Chris is thinking about being able to do the accounting in the future. So Chris said that we take in more than 300000 every year. Is that what you said? Which we'd have to if we're spending three hundred. And we, we could we've been, I think we've been spent. I don't, you know, I don't have the figures. Uh, let's see. I've got probably. Wait a minute. I will have four years worth of figures. Oh, so I have it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that would be spices. Three, four hundred thousand. Four. Let's say four hundred yeah, thousand. Yeah, probably. And then how often do you buy? <coughs> ten years. Is it ten years? And do you know? I mean, you know, roughly when about the last one. No, I didn't get the total. I don't have the detail. Have the detail. So, getting back to where we started from, then the, then the override that was passed back at the time we passed the, that you talked about earlier, is no longer going to be applied against the account that it was granted for. That's exactly what's happening here. That's exactly what's happening. Uh, no. Because we've always had this artificial accounting for the fire and the ambulance fund. And as a matter of fact, it's one of the things that we've had conversations in here about on the uh, town. I don't recall that as a vote. It had, yeah, well, yeah, it is. It, it's part of the, the vote that is taken for each of the enterprise funds. I mean, on the override vote. I don't recall an override vote. It has, to, it has to be. Otherwise, it never would have gone to the enterprise fund. It had to go someplace for the first year. Right. So the vote had to tell you where to put it. Right. Let me go back and see if I can find the language. So right. Can, but I'm just uh, saying, if, if with the language I'm getting, I think it gets to what you want, John, that like this money can go to the fire department. I like the concept of having what you're spending on and have the budget. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, 75% is here, then that should be the budget for over there. Okay. Yeah. So. By the way, you asked a question about when, the ambulance? Right on the sheet. Her bottom line, retirement of debt. <clears throat> this one? Which sheet you're on? Oh, the ambulance. Like the ambulance. Oh, the ambulance sheet. <laughs> down, down the bottom. <laughs> got it. It's got retirement of debt. The debt is for the ambulance. Oh, okay. 
So I got three years worth of it's so a two grand a year. year. That's an accrual kind of a thing. Right. No, that's the debt payment. So we just bought a one. Those are the bonds that were, oh. or the note that yeah, we yeah, yeah. So, so, so we're, we're four, is, four years in, or going to be four three, years no, in? Three, three years in. Because it's the first one's the actual. the third year. Yeah. yeah, so we're three years in, which then fits with the 98. That was what I was worrying about, because the 398 build up, if you think 300 going to this, that leaves you 98, which mm -hmm. is about a quarter yeah, of an ambulance, so it works. That's good. Huh? Oh, I'm happy. <laughs> How do you get to be happy? I got to be happy because if we, if we got the ambulance, we're in the third year of having are an ambulance. Are we on the fourth floor? And we've got $98,000 above the three hundred in the fund. Yeah, but the three hundred, we're going to get another three hundred next year. So the three ninety-eight is what we'd spend right now. The three ninety-eight includes the amount that's already been paid for this current fiscal year, or not for this fiscal year? I assume the three ninety-eight hadn't been withdrawn for this fiscal year yet. Have we taken the three hundred out for this fiscal year? John's three ninety-eight is. It's just a matter of whether you take it out at the beginning or end of fiscal years. Actually, John, you're wrong. Three hundred and forty-five thousand was the balance in the fund at the end of the last fiscal year. Okay. Uh, and if we bring in better than three hundred thousand a year, and we're putting out three hundred thousand a year, the balance is going to so, stay roughly the same. So it's got three forty-five at the this end of the fiscal year. So we've already taken the withdrawal from it. This is the. Oh, we're way ahead then. This is the letter. Oh, that's okay. It said at the end of fiscal year, July 1st, 2017, we were supposed to have $398,234 in the ambulance fund. What, what figures do you have from? Actually, <laughs> these are the figures, these are the sheets that came along with it. So we may have like way too much on our hand on No, we gotta build up the money for our yeah, well, we have three hundred and forty eight thousand right now. What do you what do you have? No, no, but we're spending three hundred of it. No, oh, that's what I was just, oh, wait, that was I, what I, I thought. I, I'm, I'm sorry. But then Bob just said we aren't. We're spending the three hundred that we're gonna be getting this year on it. I'm sorry, I, I was looking at the wrong year. Actually we have what, what tell me what the numbers are you have? What do you have on the no on the cover letter? Th the 398, 234. No, I know the total. 1428, that's the same. 195, 96, yeah. Okay, solid who's waste is 398. Who's who's waste is 398. Waste is 398. <laughs> Ambulance is 275. Sewer, <laughs> ambulance. Waste is 275 on the front page. No, I, they, they made a mistake because that's on ambulance back here. So 275 is what we have. And that's after the expenditure. So then we'll get that another 300. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, we, yeah. we've got more money coming in this year and that's money crazy. going out. So we need to be spending more on ambulances. <laughs> well, if, 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 if you say that that's, if we're bringing in enough money to offset the expenses every year, we've right. got 275 sitting there and the ambulance cost us the last time 260. Right. Sounds like you got double padlocks on that bank account. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, so you think that what the state told us is incorrect? No, I'm, what I'm saying is what they typed on the front page is wrong. Okay. The individual breakdown of each of the accounts shows that the ambulance is 275 and the solid waste is 398. And that's in, uh, are those identified in the back ones? Yeah, up on, up on the top right hand corner is what the front okay. of it is. Sewer, solid waste, ambulance. Okay. All right, let me, um, let me ask about that. That was a good catch. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't catch it though. <laughs> <laughs> well, you brought it up. It's a good throw. <laughs> but, but, but the 398 versus 275, that was you talking to me, talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> different animals. <laughs> My 
my, my concern with the Amos Fund way, way back when was that money was coming in, and if it wasn't from the revenue, mm -hmm. from the receipts, and, and if you didn't try to segregate it and keep track of it, you were going to, eventually it was going to be used to buy toys and not be used to right. provide yeah. ambulance yeah. services. Yeah. So I tried to put all the expenses together. Yeah. Um, but, no but then all of a sudden we, we got around to having to hire full-time people, and that became That's you know, a different animal. Yeah, when you're hiring people that work partly in the ambulance, partly not, but and how much they work in the ambulance depends on how many ambulance calls That's right. so, or what are like, but your salary on it's just... It's like there really isn't a separate ambulance. In fact, if it weren't for the Enterprise Fund, it's not clear to me we would have a separate ambulance budget. We'd just have a fire and ambulance department, or would we still try to separate these out? If you try to put it all together, you're, you're going to have a problem every year of trying to figure out how much money to use from the receipts to pay for the... Uh, yeah, I'm just saying, without, without that problem of oh, the fact that we get that. the receipts and they, they go into the enterprise and off on all of that, it's an integrated unit over oh, yeah, there, no and it's just, it's really one department. Yeah. It's almost like the police dispatch thing, except that one, at least it's well, a separate set of employees, employees, but they're all sharing an office space. Yeah. <laughs> work the like other when one. I walk in, I have no idea which was the dispatcher and which was the police officer yeah. hanging up chatting. Yeah, but <laughs> so there's, a, there's another question. They also tell, work for two departments. Yeah. <laughs> tell us your views on the possibilities of municipal self-discipline. <laughs> <laughs> It does not exist. <laughs> it is a well established literature. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, well, we got a number of questions. Let me see if I can track down some of them tomorrow. Uh, inspections department. Inspections department. Um, so we could. Chris, so when I asked some questions, Chris started off with the statement that it's been a revolving door yeah. you know, for, for a few years here now. Yeah, we, We've had quite a few people uh, in this yeah, we're, 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 um, I've been here five years and there's been five different inspectors. Yeah, and... Uh, Does that count the, the, the substitute from South Hadley that filled in? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that counting counts, him? Well, because he then got hired full time, then he left. Steve, right? I don't know. Yeah. I had a deck put on this past mm -hmm. year and the first I don't know who did the second inspection. The first inspection was a guy from South Adley, mm -hmm. but he never signed anything. And then eventually the, came. Then the board of selectmen escort went out the door too because he wouldn't play ball. Well, one guy left and went to somewhere out west. It's not a full-time job, though, is it? I thought that we just contracted out. It's not full. T it's not full-time. Right. Uh, but apparently. Compensation isn't the direct issue. Apparently, we are get compensation amounts we pay. Okay, except for in the budget here, um, this does not account for the person actually having a certification, and so the budget would have to go up if he passes the test, which the state has now given him permission to take to get certification. But apparently, neighboring communities have um, secretarial help, yeah. uh, field work help, things like that. And so people would rather work there rather than do all that stuff right. themselves. Uh, so, uh, so what Chris is hoping is that we'd have he'd be able to locate somebody who can do backup work. But yeah, and this gets back to my question of we have these surrounding towns that have a bigger have inspectors with all the tasking helper and so forth and so on. Is it possible simply to contract out to them? Uh, I don't know. We, I see one thing we've done. It's a state code, so it's not like you know there's right. going to be some unique Granby code, right? You know, for um, inspection. The uh, we're, we've gone the other way on the veterans agent. We used to have our own veterans agent. We then joined up with South Hadley, and then we're for years and years. Now we're going back to having our own veterans. What's that other organization? There's another organization we, that does. Were we ever by ourselves? I thought we had on it. Well, it wasn't we had something we paid directly. An organization, I mean, uh, from a budget point of view. Get an we accountant from it. There's a council on government. Council on government. Yeah. At any rate, yeah, and I think that was part of his idea of, I'm sure he's looked at other towns. Yeah. Uh, apparently the uh, PVPC has got some mechanism where they provide services mm -hmm. like that. 
But it, it, I, I certainly agree that if we can't get somebody to actually stay, the turnover costs you tremendous amount right. of money, either in work actually done or else in having to pay for uh, backup for that. It's just, it's just not a way to do well, it. Also, it's one of the guys, also, we're this, small this, town. Is, this is the type of thing town. where something can slip through the cracks, yeah. you know, yeah. which could be a disaster later. I mean, it just makes sense to go to South Hadley or go to Belgian and just say, mm -hmm. look, we'll pay you for inspection services. Here's you know, how much. You, the, the basic cost of doing business is so much higher than it was mm -hmm. years ago. That it's, it's been my view that being a small town, you've got to stop thinking you can have the services of a big town. That's right. You, you, just, you do not have the resources to, to do that. Yeah. So you have to come to some kind of compromise does, between does, what it is you think Chris, you want to do and what you want to do. Does Chris know, on average, how many inspections per year these people are conducting? Or they're run out of their records. I don't know. Yeah. And, and there's a fee for inspections, right? Yeah, there is. And it's yeah. enough to cover all the right? We actually used to run. Do we still? No, we used to run this out of a. Uh, a I'm at, I'm, I've got a, I've got a question to ask, it, and that's the question. Are we changing the accounting this year? Um, well, we did last year. Yeah, I think we did. As you can see on the sheet, right? We moved from a 2-4 code to an 0-1 code. What that means. So it's two, I assume 2-4 is like the revolving fund and 0-1 isn't? Is that right? Because they used to all be the 2-4, 2 and now they're all 0-1, 2-4-1s, as of last oh, year. Oh. And I think that was the discussion last year, if I remember correctly. It used to yeah. be a revolving fund, and we decided to get out of the revolving fund or something. No? I think so. Uh, no, I kind of remember that, too, that we well, stopped, a we stopped doing... Huh? Who else has a revolving fund? With the 2-4 thing. You got anything for a gas inspector? Another two Electrical inspector? See, I, I don't recall that we ever really the dog officer is a two did a budget. We're not, we're not required to do a budget when you do money out of revolving fund. No. Because it's like, here you go, here you got your clump of money, which is, right. I think, for this department, was in the $60,000 range, $56,000 range. And um, uh, we'll give the department, and the department then runs it as if they're an independent contractor. Adjustments are made if there's more work all of a sudden, but yeah. revolving right. funds are limited. And this, this is only for the building inspector. You're, you're right. You need an additional, you need an additional have electrical inspector, plumbing inspector. It's the only other two-four I see. They is the are dog. they are all basically independent contractors that work part time. I don't know. There's a line in the senior lunch program has a two-four line. All those examples. Yeah, I guess what what was that move last year that moved the entire accounting codes from two-four to zero-one? There was a requirement last year, I can't really remember what it was, but the state changed the rules on revolving funds. And we had to take a special vote to change something. Oh, that's not ding, ding, ding. Yeah, no. You did something there. Yeah, and I, but I can't remember what it was. <clears throat> I remember that the state came along and they suggested to do this. Right. But, but do it both ways because we may not be able to get it approved before the end of the fiscal year, so you got to right. have a belt and suspenders or something like that. And we went ahead and did it. But I'm, I'm not too sure right. where the money comes from. Because the other two 2 four codes are the forest fire warden and the yeah, dog they, officer. Yeah. But no, both they, of those are independent sources of income. Yeah. And so there's the two four code has to be related to somehow there's some other income coming in. So, for but it may the, not be a revolving. It may fund. be that it was under the old system of revolving funds and under exactly. the new system. Exactly, system is, yeah. So, so. For, so for that matter, what does the preceding number mean? The oh one two four three zero six zero. What is all that? What are those? Oh one means general fund. Two forty one means inspections department. Yeah, that's the second set, but so, it's that first set. So 30 what is... What do you mean the first set? The, the first set, the 01s, the 24s, the three zeros. The, this one has... Oh, all right, the, the, 20, the 24s are revolving funds. So it is, it did used to be so a revolving fund. So it used fund, to be a revolving a fund, fund, but don't ask me where the revenue gets played into that. Well, now, now, this year. now, 
what happens to the, the fees that are charged. Yeah, because they used to go into the revolving fund, and now they clearly right. aren't because the expenditures got moved out. And that's what I remember from last year. Yeah. We were getting out of the revolving fund business, just putting everything in the general fund because these revolving funds are obnoxious. And so by doing that, that will well, just have some, a salary thing. Well, no, I, I think the revolving funds are good in general, <laughs> but they don't always work for right. some of the operations. So obnoxious and, when we have to sit down and do the budgeting kind of things. Yeah, the, uh, the the simpler kinds of things that uh, like some of the recreation stuff that was oh, that's a piece of cake. If it's the stuff that yeah. they get the money in, like you said, that other kind where some other agency gets the money and they spend it, yeah. we don't have to sit around and look at their budget. Yeah, that's great, but but that was the problem. Like here, if we're sitting down and looking at this budget, but then we got to know, oh, they have, they have this other source of income coming in, and then we're trying to figure out are they spending that other income right? But how much income? I mean, it's just. Well, I don't remember this discussion coming up. Yeah. this way last year so it may be that the documentation we had with the budget last year still added as 24 Four. it could be and, and, it just and it's been changed and in the meantime that's entirely possible right yeah and then it got moved later on and now it's all in the O1s but but even still there's still revenue coming in from the inspection thing which yeah, says the amount this is going to be spent so in other words yeah we want to know where does the revenue go and is it? there in fact besides tax dollars, is there in fact a separate source of money for anything? Yes. We don't budget. You, you oh no, because this could be the money coming out of the tax funds. This and then could there money could be the whole thing thousand dollars so being spent. You pay, you pay fees for inspections. So. Right. Yeah. So we want to know if there is a separate source of funding for this department or all. Yeah, and I don't looking, think this, I'm is, looking here this is the under, amount of I'm money here that's been. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm looking here on the notes, basically under all our receipts, our local receipts, and I don't see anything for Inspection fees. So. Well, let me see. I, gotta... I have a better thing than receipts. Okay. Good deal. Yeah, so it's the uh, yeah, It's amazing to me they have a hard time getting somebody to take this job at a sixty thousand dollar a year. Stuff I had doesn't break it down. To go roll down. around and. Mm -hmm. your fence looks okay. <laughs> you know, I've got licenses, oh, and, hard job to licenses and permits, other departmental revenue, yeah, yeah, which is nothing. So break it up. Be certified. Pardon? It doesn't break it up. Right. Break it up. So how hard is that? So maybe the certification is hard and requires the licensing you and to, all that. You thing. have yeah. to understand the code. Maybe yeah, 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 yeah. Easy. yeah. But with the number of general contractors in this town, you would think somebody would be looking at this like a quick 60 grand supplement to their salary. But there was some disagreement. Like it's inter it gets comes down to interpretation, maybe. Not really. Well, what was? Why did the last? One of the one of the guys left because the board of selectmen had a disagreement on his decision. Yeah, I don't, I don't recall. Yes, these guys have a lot of power, right? <laughs> they don't sign off. You don't, don't get like the bill. National politics. <laughs> I don't saying, like the way you're talking, so get out of here. So 60 is easy until you got to Yeah, until you get fired, that's right. Get, yeah. yeah, I guess that's true. No, I mean, it's a political it's, job, I mean, right? Yeah. Since, oh, that makes since sense. Since I came to town, the, the first guy I remember left to go out west. Then a uh, woman came in from one of the other towns. She left to go either return to the town she was from or uh, something else, I forget. And then we had a fellow come in who um, was interim. Something about and then gun, he became full gun time club or and he left. So I'm not oh, sure. Oh, yeah, we got the gun, gun things. Wasn't there a gun thing? Well, it's certainly, would... certainly been a problem in town with the noisy gun range. And they, That's right. there were questions about permits and the like. And he refused to do in the. I, I don't know any of that. Just, I didn't know enough about it to I, be able to figure any of that rumors, out. you know. Anyways. But it, 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 Chris right, it's a revolving door. And, and there was Rusty Ducharm. Was he here when you Yeah, that was the first one. He was the first one. He was a baseball player. Right. Yeah, Rusty. And then a woman came in from South Hadley to cover. And then we had another hire. And then so the guys uh, don't love the building inspector. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you need to stop the construction at your place. It's like a, just like a basically stack of relief pictures. Exactly. Your <laughs> always building. building. <laughs> All right.
by another inspector. Yeah, but we're curious to know what what are the fees that this department gets. Yeah. yeah. Same thing with the plumbing inspector. They also have a line called inspection fees. It's just, like, that's a, it's just odd. Yeah. Who? The plumber. Oh. Yeah. Also, they have a line called inspection fees, fees, but it's an expense, not a. Well, uh, that might be you know the fees that we pay this. Now, it wouldn't surprise me if it's just it's saying when they go out to do inspections. That's what they get the charge fee he charges to do an inspection. Yeah. Right. But then why is it an expense? It's an expenditure line. It's an expenditure line. This is the money. This is money paid to. Paid to him. The paid way, to yeah. the inspector. And presumably it comes from what the fees are that are paid into the town. Yeah. And in another so case. the so, town. Yeah. Now, the, and the, the on the budget page there, uh, 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 there's a just a. A lump sum figure of forty-two thousand six hundred twenty-eight dollars of local receipts for fees, and it's not broken out on the sheets that we yeah. got. And that could be all of these. That include all of these things. It's not enough to pay for sixty thousand right. dollars in inspection fees for the building inspector. Uh, so right. I don't know whether I don't know where that comes in if it comes in as a special case here. Um, Yeah, because like the health inspector, two later, it's just listed as inspections, which mm -hmm. makes sense to me. There you go. Contracted services for... Yeah. The sealer of weights. We use somebody else. Yeah. Right? For what? Sealer of weights and measures? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's the better terminology. What does the sealer of weights and measures do nowadays? Checks the gas pumps. Is that it? The town pays for that? Yeah. Huh. Well... I well, shouldn't say that. No, there's a fee charge. There's a fee charge for it. But I think we do this through South Haley now. Right? I think it's South Haley, but I won't say it. It, it was we, for a while North Northampton, I think. Yeah. The, it, and when it was Northampton, we didn't have to account for it separately here. It was consumed under some other kind of... Yeah, maybe it through was the a, it wasn't a council of governments or something. Yeah, I forget what the deal was. But we, all of a sudden, we started... All of a sudden, a few years ago, this appeared as a separate department. Uh, because of this change with Northampton used to do it for us and we went over to the South Haley. So uh, there's, um, I think, uh, any, any weights, any scales that you have to have in place yeah, scales to sell have to things done, have, to, yeah. have to be checked. Uh, so if you look I, on the gas pumps, you'll see who it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know it was done a little bit. Well. I assumed it was a state thing. Emergency management. Yeah, I got a question. I got two generator questions. You yeah, only two of them went out apparently. And you only answered one. I saw two in the notes. There were, yeah, one was uh, one was for the uh, pump station. No, there was a pump station. There's a uh, a pump station. There's a generator at the cemetery pump station, but not at the Pleasant Street pump station. And electricity goes out, and um, it's, it's sore, I think it is. And there's no way for that other system to operate except for Dave has to go out and manually hook up some kind of generator to get the electricity. This is for Pleasant Street. Yeah. Uh, that's in the one in the sewer. That's, in the, that's in the sewer enterprise. That's the sewer. That's, that's the sewer. Yeah. Yeah. One. Right. So, emergency management means losing power? Uh, there's a, an emergency management group uh, which was formed, I think it was after 9-11. Uh, okay. the, uh, the government pumped all sorts of money in for the formation of sort of stuff, but it's to basically uh, get a uniform program in the town which has representatives from the fire and the police and the ambulance and all sorts of other groups to decide what it is you do in case of an emergency. You know, who has what kind of responsibilities for things like that. Okay. Uh, and I guess that the cell tower must be part of their responsibility. So what is like the 5710 for code red we have to pay every year? I mean it's such a flat That's rate. That's the thing that calls you up and tells you the trash is going to be delayed one day this week because of the snowstorm. Yeah, I think that's... That's the phone system? 
the automatic dialing yeah, thing. Dialing thing. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's what that is. I mean, it's not just used for code red stuff. It's no, uh, communication. Not. <laughs> uh, okay. so trash pickup yeah. this week is Thursday. Pardon? Trash pickup this week is Thursday. For who? The, for the Wednesday no, trash. Yeah. For the Wednesday trash. Mine, mine is Wednesday because it was today. Yeah. But it was delayed till tomorrow. Delayed till tomorrow. Oh, when I got the call, uh, yes, so so when I got the call time. yesterday, it was garbage. I know, I'm so I had to call the police station to find out what it said. I didn't get a phone call. <laughs> I didn't get a phone call either. Code red, code red. I know, really. Can I call code red? <laughs> like, say why didn't I get a code red call? <laughs> um, oh, I think it was called co code red. Community alert, I think. Uh, came across yeah, they don't call it code red. Like they do in the budget. It just sounds a little alarming. <laughs> so what's this generator? On a cell tower, why? Why is since we don't own the cell tower, and somebody owns the cell tower and rents space on it? I assume why are we paying for a generator? Mm -hmm. In case it goes out. Pardon? In case it goes out. Because the what's the, what's cause the, the owner? Because the story was that was it the, the police? The two of the three weren't. Well, police and fire could talk to each other, but highway right. could not. We want to make sure that we're yeah. out without cell phones in an emergency. I why is it our responsibility? I yeah, don't think it would be the owner of the tower. No, 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 because you can say it's Verizon's responsibility, but in an emergency, Verizon yeah. may not get to it for a week and a half. Or they don't care. Yeah, that's why it would be. In other words, this is a yeah, problem. I'll get, I'll, get I'll get some more details, but it's, it's our problem because the police and the fire and the highway can't all yeah. speak when they need to speak in case of emergencies. Sometimes. Right. Sometimes it goes out. Now, whether or not we should be paying for it, I don't know. I don't know if we pay any money to rent any. You know, I don't, I don't know mm -hmm. what the details behind any of this stuff is. Right. And if we want to get them, we'll. You know, no, no, but I can easily imagine the cell tower company. Whoever owns the cell tower says, yes, it's our responsibility to get it back up. But in the case of an emergency that hits the entire state, so we are going to be out here within an hour. We don't, have, hour. To, we don't have to provide list. emergency power. Well, they can't. I mean, in other words, they might provide. Well, they could, have, they could buy a generator for six grand and install it. Oh, and then they would install generators everywhere. That's true. You're right. We could tell them they need to install a generator. And they, they say, say we don't spend the money. The highway charge us more for the service. Get service, but police and fire can. Yeah, that does seem weird. It also seems weird that we need a generator sitting there, even in the emergency, that somebody can't drive one over and plug it in in case of the emergency. I mean, a portable one. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, if that's all you need it for, let's get the cell tower up and running. Dump truck to put exactly, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll have a portable fire truck that's really maneuverable too. So. I like the dog officer. Look at this: down eighteen percent, down eighteen point two, <laughs> down fourteen point three, down thirty two point nine. Are there less? And yet their budget's town? up two percent exactly. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> like, I think that was just the way they got their cells of put they raised, right? Yeah, they raised supplies by four. Oh, minutes. supplies went away. Can't they there. can't they name that something different instead of dead dog pickup? <laughs> yeah, what about recycling the cats? or does the dead dog <laughs> off, does the dog officer also pick up the raccoons and the cats or just the dogs? I don't know. Depends on where he is. <laughs> So are we getting through the whole thing tonight, John, or what? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. We're at number... Oh, we have to, man. All the people on TV want to not turn out. <laughs> Here's the question. Is anybody in town still going to be watching it at this point in the meeting? <laughs> and no skipping ahead. They have to watch every minute of this. <laughs> the anticipation must be killing them. <laughs> you wonder... What Hits you guys get. Yeah, exactly. And now I don't know how you watch it. I mean, this is gonna be also all oh, finally we can watch one of their meetings. <laughs> okay, we're in demand, but after this, after we're this, we think our stock is falling rapidly. <laughs> we really are as boring as we thought we were. That's right. Our uh, ratings are going down by the minute. Oh, I don't know. I think you guys are one of the more interesting ones. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, compared, to, compared to what? <laughs> you laugh a lot more than anybody else. Uh, that may be true. Yeah. Well, sometimes you have to. <laughs> right. I still so, yeah. 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 Stay awake. Yeah. <laughs> On the other hand, you know, this is uh, 
good point to make a little comment about the, the nature of the finance committee. <laughs> so many people are going to see this. Is this, is this, is <laughs> this is why John will never win public office. <laughs> <laughs> Three hours into the dullest meeting on earth, I will now explain to you the importance of what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the finance committee is really. I mean, we think of ourselves as being the uh, uh, the view of the people because we're not elected officials. We're just uh, appointed, but we're just citizens, taxpayers in town. And so, uh, finance committee has a responsibility of making sure that everything that goes into the budget is, in fact, something which seems reasonable uh, and that matches up with what we have for yeah. income. And sometimes there are some things that are just deadly dull about it, and which is partially explains some of the humor, uh, that you have to do something to relieve the deadly dullness of it. But we take the responsibility seriously in these initial go-throughs of the budget. We try to find out as much as we can about all different aspects of it, so that when we back and make recommendations to the town, the town can be sure that somebody has, in fact, paid great detail attention to what's going on. So. And uh, it's another reason why it's usually, if you check people who are in finance committees around various towns, it's uh, called the uh, most thankless job in the Commonwealth. Uh, and I'm sure there are other contenders for that position, but uh, it, uh, it has its advocates in the finance uh, committees of towns. So that's it. Thank you. <laughs> now, on, now for, the, on for the next two hours. Yeah, that was the highlight. <laughs> yeah. uh, highway department. Um, I think this is the first year we've ever had an increase this small as far from the highway department. Yeah, I, I agree with you. It's amazing. Yeah, it is. Uh, the, uh, so he's getting his dump truck somewhere else. Well, the dump truck, yes, comes out of, dump truck is a big capital item. There are small capital items in the budget, yeah. but the big capital items come out of the water. So, but this gets, uh, I mean, I hate to do this because I'm happy about the budget, but yeah. the, 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 the back to the Dura Patcher thing. Yeah. So if you look at the amount we spent on cold patches, we spent 922 in 2016, and we spent $2,000 in 2017. And now we have a request in for an $80,000 piece of equipment, so we won't have to do spend these cold 50, patches, uh, but uh, we can do some hot patches. Bucks, yeah. There's I something, mean, there's something to be said about that. It's just, if, if this is all the patching we have to do, is that amount of money, that doesn't seem like we're doing a lot of patching in town. Or is it that we have not been doing the patching, you know, and it needs to happen. Yeah, or is there like hot patching going on somewhere else? But anyways, if I just use this as the numbers that like now we won't be doing these cold patches, we'll be doing hot patches, so we will then be saving $3,000 mm -hmm. a year, which is how many patches? I mean, I don't even know. Maybe hot patches are like vastly more expensive, than cold, <coughs> et cetera, et cetera. So, but we don't, you don't have as many. Well, you don't have as many. Isn't, yeah. isn't, the, the, isn't cold the difference like the time of year? I mean, whether the asphalt plants are open or closed? I uh, I don't know. I mean, I think I think in the winter you can only do cold patch. Yeah, you're right. Right. And no. Then, no. They have they have heating units. Yeah, because they have heating units in the winter. But don't asphalt plants like close down, and you can't like during the winter months. The asphalt plants close down, so you can't buy it. But somehow or other, they have equipment now that you can put down hot patches in the winter time. Yeah, it heats up the stuff. It heats the yeah. stuff up. Okay. It's a multi. It's a multi-step process. It's not just <coughs> getting a batch of hot asphalt and pour it into a hole. There's yeah. a little. I mean, but it, it's it's a good question. If, if we're spending fifty-one hundred dollars in coal patches. Oh, that's the budget. We're not even. We haven't yeah. spent even that. I know. Much, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. That's the budget. Yeah. And you know, and there's no it's, line on it for what you, we spend on hot patches. An, if you get an explanation for the why you're buying the thing, eighty thousand dollars. It may explain fifty-one hundred dollar line item. And I, and I guess that's it. Not only just like why are we buying it, but what's the cost benefit analysis on this thing? Yeah. Like you know, you know, are we really not doing that many patches, and this is just the nice new toy, or is this actually a material difference in the amount of patching we could do? You know, it could be you only do cold patches when the pothole gets so big you have to do something, but with something like this, you could take care of the holes way earlier or something. I mean, okay. I suppose it could also be used for. Patching during the summertime. Right. 
and maybe it may be yeah, no, more, it may, more efficient. It may be the single best way to get our roads repaired nonstop, right? right? And if we had the machine, we could just be using maybe it all the time and get the all the roads in better cuts, shape. Maybe the machine cuts bodies out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. But, and, you know, yeah, but if we're spending 2000 a year, which is the last spend that we should we see, uh, it's going to be 40 yeah. years to justify the machine. We, we um, I want to ask the question in a broad sense uh, to explain what the whole process is, because yeah. there are a lot of other line items here yeah. which could cover a number of different things. For example, there is a um, uh, big amount, there's $43,500 on other purchase services, right. and we don't know what of that might include, any kind of patching, patching that's right. done, maybe Absolutely. we hire somebody yeah, to do yeah. something things like that. So there, there are a number of related questions, I think, right. uh, that besides just the patch questions, but I mean, it's a good place to start. Yeah, I mean you know, the wages and overtime might you know be yeah high like, high. like snow removal. But, but really, we can track that a lot the, of the stuff. The, the question is, what's where's the cost benefit analysis? What's it look like? Right. Snow and ice control, right? Two percent. Yeah, Snow and Ice Control is another one of those funny budgets. It's like, we're going to spend whatever it costs. <laughs> well, you got to come. Here's the generator. At least this one, you know, the, the way the state law works, um, you don't have to formally right. uh, get uh, a different uh, appropriation authority before you spend the money. No, you don't have to ever get an appropriate. Yeah, I mean, this is you know, this is good. That we do it's put out this much. No, we, we, we do it, but we don't have to. We don't, yeah, we don't have to cover have to do this. They could just right. no, no, no. come in at the end the of the year and say, All right, yeah. that's, that's covered. Yeah, the sewer enterprise fund. Okay, uh, this is the thing that uh, this is the other generator. They want another generator. All right, seems so. awfully expensive for a generator. Well, especially since the other one was six. And why so, I mean, well, it's not, a, it's not right? a very big pump station. I mean, yeah. And why is maintenance up so so high? And what was the twenty thousand on generator spent in twenty seventeen? Maybe that was for the maybe oh, that, that was, the was budget, the, but they only spent seven. So yeah, what was, um, was that for the uh, other location? That would be well. The other and one would be down on well, Stony other Brook. That's a sewer. I mean, at the um, cemetery. Thirty thousand bucks. Do you know how many pump stations we have? Yeah, three. Three. Okay, this is one. One, one, one at Sony cemetery. Brook. That that station down there. Sony Brook, Pleasant Street, and the and cemetery. The one in the cemetery. The one okay. in the cemetery is for the <coughs> the gray water stuff, pumping it into the leach field that's right behind the highway garage. I mean, also a question: We have a consistent thirty-five thousand a year retirement or debt. Only this year they budget five thousand more, forty thousand. Why? You know, it's fixed rate. It should always be the same. No, they may have done some funny stuff with the debt they had. Okay. But we're buying the generator outright. We're not financing it, right? Mm-hmm. That's what. That's what we're asking for. Right. And we have also an extra six thousand in maintenance. It's around six thousand. Yeah. The uh, all the funds from the sewer enterprise fund pay for us specifically things yep. related to the sewer. Uh, so there's no tax dollars yep. involved. Uh, and, and hopefully the money in the sewer fund will be enough. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Mm -hmm. Municipal solid waste fund. I think there was some backup material in that. I don't know if it's in the copy. It didn't make sense to me. Huh? It didn't make sense. It didn't make to sense. Me.
I look at a budget that said the budget this year was 344,000, next year is 398,000. Someone tells me that the cost per month went up by $1,500 or something, and I say, yeah, so? Yeah, right. Now, remember what the override was that we underwrote. Oh, we got some back, right? Yeah, we got 30, 30 grand back, but I can't remember what the, the first chunk was. Yeah, you would assume that the $53,000 increase would be because of the increase. But you're right, $1,500 a month. Where's the backup? Uh, Is it a state of pricing? A thing on there, but the, we know, didn't get that. That's $20,000. Yeah. <coughs> so this is the only increase that we can see. Up by fifteen hundred, so that's twenty thousand a year versus fifty three thousand a month. It's like the basic residential contract rate. It goes up by about 3.5% uh, a year. Now remember that uh, when the contract was signed, it's it signed as a three-year contract. Yeah. And uh, the, uh, I think the override that was asked for was in the middle of the three-year contract. So it was enough that in the first year, First year we generate a surplus, and the second mm -hmm. year by pace, and the third year we use the surplus to pay for it. That was on the first one, but we signed yeah. the second contract now. Uh -huh. And that's what brought about the $30,000 underwrite. Right. Yeah. But I mean, you know, I mean, the, the, the justification for the 15% increase is prices are going up, but when you look at the detail, yeah, they are going up. They're going up by about 1500 bucks a month, which is around. Well, well even, if you take, even if you take the 21. 21875 and multiply it by 12 months. Right. You're only at a quarter of a million dollars. Mm -hmm. Not 398. So right. there's something else in there that yeah. isn't covered in yeah. in that. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, so it's like 30,000 a budget 30,000 more than what the cost increases suggest. So end of the day, if the bylaws change, Chris makes this up and this Chris Chris approves it. And I'm sorry, what? So if the bylaws change, Chris makes this up and then Chris approves it. Has the select board approve it? And well, what I've heard is that the the proposed bylaw change would uh, it still has a finance committee, but the finance committee no longer has a responsibility for the budget. So uh, it creates a number of problems, I think one of which is that right now, you look at the bylaws, 
Finance Committee is the only group in town that's officially charged by the bylaws with being neutral. That's right. N nobody else is. And if you have an elected official, elected official, in order to discharge their responsibilities, cannot be neutral. That they have responsibilities. Mm -hmm. they, they have a, a program that they have in mind. They elect them in a program. And uh, there's no way that you can uh, claim to be neutral uh, and actually fulfill your other responsibilities as an elected official. So it just doesn't make any sense. So we'll have to see how that works out as we go through the process of uh, looking at the bylaw changes. Yes, once the bylaws change, nobody will do this anymore. This will, this will, this will, <laughs> like, this will yeah. never happen again. <laughs> Most of us will not be on the finance committee. And, no, it'll uh, be once a year. It'll and, be great. Uh, it, so, it, so people, it really would be more people like. would sit and go through this whole motion just to go to the town hall and make a comment here and there. Right? There's no right. ownership of it, there's no yeah. nothing. Right. right? Uh, yeah, looks okay. I mean, it's the silliest way to could, run it could, down. You could write the finance committee report before you ever saw the budget. Wow. It is balanced, period. Yeah, so. it's balanced. Yeah. yeah, that's about all. And uh, you got, yeah, you'd have one group of yeah, elected officials true. making the budget for another group of elected officials. Why, why would another elected official even stand for that idea? If you're the... Uh, if you're the uh, town tax collector or the town clerk or the board assessor, why would you even stand for the idea of the select board setting your budget? I don't know. If I, were, if I were on the school committee, I sure wouldn't want the town administrator saying, this is what you're going to spend. Yeah. Or yeah. selectmen, this is what, telling them what they're going to spend. Right. So it just doesn't match up very well with our form of government. It's okay in the city. The city thing is set up so that that happens. The people are given responsibilities for everything. It's not the way it is here. But at any rate, that's for down the line. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we would like a little more detail on yeah, how these more, figures more, are yeah. because um, the uh, the increase is far in excess of whatever the monthly charges. Mm -hmm. and I guess I'd like to know what the amount of what the override is just to refresh my my mind to make sure that the cost of the fund is paying for yeah, itself. Exactly. It should be completely paid for, right? So I'm at, I'm at Board of Health. Uh, I, I'm a cemetery commissioner before that. They have a telephone lane too, so after getting convinced the telephone was the cell phones. But don't, we put, don't we put telephones in the graves so in case people yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to go out on a limb here and say somebody's got to have a cell phone on them if the, if the um, funeral home says, you know, we got to deliver or you got to go pick something up or... So this is, I mean, I, my question is, is this yeah. also a cell phone? Yes, that was my question. I mean, I think that, that that's where... What's your number? No number, I got it. Yeah, it's just, I would be happy if I knew all the telephone lines were cell phones. And then this other thing, the phone is all in this communication right, or something. It's like 50 bucks a month. Yeah. yeah. So it's just another money. cell phone in town. That'd be my guess. I would just be, how many cell phones is this town? Yeah, and I, I, why don't we just we have a single cell phone budget? Yeah. One line item. One line so, item. Here's all the cell phones. Here are the people to get them. Yeah. And it's all part of this big communications yeah. thing. And I can live with it if this is just if that's what this line means in every budget. I'm trying to think if I can think of any phone that they would have. You want to talk to the dead? I. They're in their one building. I don't think there's yeah. anything in there. There's no heat. Right, so it just may be that whoever is in charge of the cemetery has to have a cell phone so they can get called up to or say they have their phone at home. The, the gate's it. unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I yeah. There, I don't think there's. I don't think there's an alarm that would work off of a. Right. Off a phone. No, I mean, like I said, it makes sense. I, mean, I, could, I could make a case that there might be an alarm working off the generator. That's right, on, but that's be the sewer, not not the cemetery. Right. Yeah, I, I have no idea what what this is, uh, but I remember that um, 
with the library last year. We said we had to put in a, a new phone line into the library, something for their alarm system. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know if the library, I don't know if the library, we haven't got to the library yet. Check and see if they carry a telephone. They do. Oh, charge. Eleven hundred dollars. Yeah. And that so it had, it had really nothing to do with phone. It had to do with the with their alarm system. Right. Um, and there was a reason why we had to do that. Why it didn't quite match up with what was going on with the other complexes. Right. So, but it's worth uh, it's certainly worth to ask what that is. Well, it's just a matter of if we could just find out whenever I see telephone, does that mean cell phone? Yeah. And if I knew that, then we know what it means yeah. going forward. Yeah, like it doesn't for the library, I don't think. Right. But it's, a, it's a good general question. So or if you could change the label to internet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> this is often a problem with accounting things like this, is you get these labels from 50 years ago, then they're just being used for different reasons. Oh, well, that doesn't mean that anymore. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, exactly. It's like... <laughs> Really for example, if you're on the Board of Health, yeah. you have a line item for dead animal removal that's been blank for the last five years. There hasn't been a dead animal in town. <laughs> <laughs> We're a healthier town. We're picking up dogs over here. Yeah, the dogs. Other animals the dogs over here. That doesn't That was a tra transfer, so it must have been something unusual. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.
and then that, some of that's reimbursed for us, yeah. by the state, yeah. not by the feds. Not by the feds. Okay. And what's ordinary allowance? Something to live on. Okay. That doesn't get divided up too many ways. Now, the annual, the annual inspector, we have no wages associated. So is this uh, salary covered by some other budget? By all the fees. No, there hasn't been any. Yeah. Who, who does this? Do you know? Maybe you know the no idea. Yeah, I didn't bring my book. Back on the uh, just I just took the uh, some of the travel thing. Back on the uh, fire department, um, the fire chief is asked to attend an out of state conference uh, next year. State law <laughs> allows that, but if you want to do that, you have to budget it as a separate item, and it has to be appropriated as a separate item on the top floor. In other words, it's it's a line item within there. It's a line item budget, budget, but it's salary, wages, out of state travel. But yeah, it's not just you. You can't put it in with travel, and uh, you have to appropriate it as a separate as a separate specific item at the town meeting. Well, the same as wagers, wage would be. I think. So the specific. Well, it's, actually, a line, it's a line item. Uh, well, except now well, we we do still for the uh, departments, um, separate out wages from expenses, but that's not required anymore either by the state. That changed last year. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but, but besides, whatever else you do. So we can really have buckets for everybody. Whatever whatever else you do, it's not allowed here. Whatever else you do, um, you've, got to, you've got to specifically vote the amount for out-of-state travel. So was it? Did you just pick it on the fire guy, or the, he's the only the, one? He's the only one that has out of state travel. What does so the police stand chief? For? The police chief could never go to a conference Federal on the state. Insurance corporation. Pardon? Federal deposit insurance. No, it doesn't mean that. <laughs> that's what it means to me. <laughs> We're talking about it all the time. Well, well, something starts with fire department. Yeah, fire department, yeah, fire department uh, international chiefs meeting maybe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, 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 so what's the repair at the library? Two thousand dollars in repairs and maintenance at the library. No, I don't. I'm not very smart, but it would seem to me that it ought to be better to run that out of the public buildings budget, so and then you wouldn't ha then you wouldn't have to increase the book budget accordingly, according right. to the formula. Although that's where the book budget is also fascinating when you look at it. You know, they talked about how they have to spend their amount of books, and so they got these budget numbers, but they spend ten thousand dollars less than the budgeted number. Mm -hmm. So do they just have to budget a large number, or do they actually have to spend a large number? Yeah, it's not like they were encumbering it. No, because if they did sooner or later, they'd have a real big year or something. But yeah. it's Every year there's a good budget. And, a and they're under budget across the board. So it's not yeah, even like they're every, rearranging every year the money, they're right? spending it. Yeah, it's not like so it's just like, it's just so weird for this. We have to do this. We have to do this. But well, they, they, they can't get around to doing it. Yeah. It's the heart of my books. <laughs> On the repairs and maintenance, again, I don't, I don't know. I'll ask yeah. the question. I can imagine that um, what we do for convenience, which is uh, we put a lot of things into public buildings, 
for the maintenance around there, um, even though it actually relates to the operation of the department, uh, works against the libraries. That if uh, it really are repairs in any other town, repairs and anything would be covered, be part of what you cost to run the department. And so it would be in their budget, so it would add to their budget. If you take it out and put it in with everything else for your convenience, then you basically decrease the benefits of the library of it. But let me ask, because it, it, it repairs and maintenance, um, you know, you know, it could be a, a lot of different things that are covered by that. Oh, yeah. yeah. But the, uh, the real question is why is it separate right. for this building? Yeah. And, and, you know, this amount, I mean, whatever, there may be a story, but there's a general principle that's going to be involved, you know, the library needs a new roof someday. Does it go on this line? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> and 18% uh, of that is, is more books. Yeah. Books, exactly, well, and so I, on, right? Well, whatever the percent is. Yeah, in past, capital items in the departments have to be under 25000 Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, but but we don't have this let's, line. Let's, let's, uh, let's do a piece of the roof. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Therefore, see. Um, <laughs> yeah. Librarian librarian is not a contract employee. Uh, salaries on the weight scale, and, the, and the, the library board has been had this discussed. And for some reason, they don't want to have a person as a contract employee. So I don't know the ins and outs of a contract employee. But whatever it is for the ins and outs, they're not interested. In. Okay, historical commission. Please send a note of commendation to the 250 of three people that they did not put in a budget for this year, that they didn't decide, well, we should be celebrating the 250th of a year for the next 10 years. <laughs> like, I'm serious. I fully expected this to become a permanent standing yeah, I did, too. <laughs> I mean, I just, I saw it, and they didn't. I was just, that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> you think that at least for a couple of years you could uh, generate some uh, cleanup. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. exactly. I mean, yeah, or something. Uh, um, uh, poll the town and how good they thought yeah, the town and, you know, yeah, do another few things. other memorial events. Yeah. But no, yeah. we celebrated it and we're done celebrating it. It's great. Okay, time and a debt. Well, why is that down? Hmm? Why is that down? Because we retired for the day. No. So <laughs> this could be a schedule that shows yes. the vehicles yeah, yeah. Or, or whatever's on it. I'm looking at the schedule. I didn't add all the stuff up, uh, but I'm sure it's some, some, some of them got paid off and more than went on. Okay, okay, yep, I see it. Okay. That'd be my guess. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of these things that have payoff dates of 2017. Ooh, here we are, compressed air foam system. There it is. Yeah, it's been paid off the moment the dump truck. Pick up the van, see the van. In ground tank. Yeah, a lot of stuff ended in, in uh, 2017. What's a the, the interest has gone way up. It's a CAFS. It's because in the, the paying off school, no. it's all interest in this. If you, um, it's on there. Yeah, the, uh, it's on the, uh, one of these lines has this huge increase. <coughs> what, what's the number of that account? 
Anybody saw it? It is the yeah. Casualty Liability Insurance 901. I thought it was. I keep looking for a 901 and can't find it. Yeah, it's yeah. near the. Near the So yes, yeah, so our uh, lease accident went up by eleven thousand dollars this year, and that charge could be larger. It's an estimate that charge may what, be larger. What, what department are we in? one. And there's a line for police accident. Yeah, and, and um, Chris said that may that could increase. gets hurt at the training academy. I mean, so it's not workman's comp. I know we went through this when it happened, but I don't, why it we did become workman's comp? I think. So what's this all this extra money? What's it have to do is oh, but but, it, but they didn't want to charge the sergeant or something who was responsible for the training. Something happened, or didn't happen. I, I remember we went through it yeah. last year because of uh, what the effect on the budget was, but I forget the details. But I mean, it's not going through workman's comp. It's no, right. no, it's like not. we're paying. It's, well, it's we're paying no, insurance. Some kind of disability no, no, insurance. No, no, because it's hitting on the insurance instead of hitting on the workman's comp fund. It's it was on. Yeah, I remember that it was casualty liability insurance. Was different, but. I don't remember why. I don't remember either. Keep us calm. Unemployment. Perkins Comp is down this year. Yeah, unemployment's up though. Well, the real one time the analogy came out way up last year and now it's back down to halfway between those two years. That's weird. You know, why is unemployment up so much? Is there more people off? Or? Not, not with us and not with the, everybody in the state. Mm -hmm. It's not that the, the pool is going sour. <coughs> I would venture the rates out. That seems like a big increase. Yeah, that's 20, 30 percent. Good enough. I was just I was just thinking, you know, we're on on taper and this goes to YouTube, I think that was what we so it goes on the channel, it goes on the channel YouTube, the YouTube yeah. thing. Um, when uh, uh, and Gone with the Wind plays in theaters, they have a long admission to the because it's such a length that I think we're, <laughs> <laughs> I think we're longer than gone with the wind. <laughs> but we're better. <laughs> 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 Maybe we could serve cocktails. <laughs> I mean, we did save it a lot this time. Exactly. <laughs> all right. Yeah. That's a wrap for right? Yeah. All right. We'll, we'll see you all tomorrow. The, uh, <laughs> can, uh, can a number of you make it tomorrow night? Yep. Okay. The, um, I'm passing up a meeting tomorrow night and Thursday night. Tomorrow night's a meeting at uh, Pathfinder. Are the figures on here for Pathfinder yeah. accurate? No, they're an estimate. Uh, the uh, we, we the have, figures uh, are going to be given out tomorrow at Pathfinder. Do we have school budget tomorrow that we talk about? Or? No. no. I'm going to try to get answers to this question and a couple more things to, to talk about. Did you get a chance ask Chris where he got his estimate for the school transportation? He said he took this year's transportation to add 6% to it. He didn't. Didn't? No. Okay. Does make more sense just to move Thursday instead of tomorrow? Uh, no, because we get. I want to take advantage of the fact that we can actually get people here okay. this week, yeah, and uh, we got. Uh, we have a lot we have to talk about. I think before we have the April second okay. meeting. Uh, so, All right. so we have the.